Wee. Okay. Hello, everybody. I've been doing well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Welcome to a live episode of the Imperium Breaking Bad series. I'm super behind on my recording. <laughs> Dreaming honestly doesn't help. <laughs> but at least you guys get something, right? <laughs> Um, welcome. Hope you're doing well, guys. Thank you once again. Um, I noticed there, there's a couple of questions in the chat I'll get to in a minute. Just let me say hello to Luke. Hello. General Turian, hello. I will get back to you in a moment. Storm Crow, Ghost Dragon, Riot. Um, Art Roberts as well. Kevin, Break Tracks. Welcome along, Tristan. Uh, Project Striker, Pink Fluffy Pencil. How are you doing? What is you to be anyway? <laughs> hello, Froggies. Welcome along. Um, Basm as well. Are you not well? You've been streaming more like it. No, it's just literally, I'm so behind on recording, basically. Um, if I have, it basically, if, if 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 I went down the recording route, I wouldn't get an episode up today. So um, I've got a bit of spare time over the weekend this weekend, so I'll try and get on schedule over the weekend. Anyway, General Turian asks, um, how do you get access to the exclusive ships um, for Patreon supporters? Uh, which is a fantastic question, because it's not clear or easy to it explain basically you can be a supporter by a patron or by a twitch or by youtube channel memberships there's only one place where i can consolidate all three uh, other benefits for all three in a single place and that is on my discord which has automatic links to all three platforms so when you become a patron or, or a twitch sub or a youtube channel member and you join my discord assuming you've linked your discord to whichever account you've signed up to then the bots will automatically give you the roles on Discord that get you access to the exclusive builds channel on my Discord. So have a look through the channel and see if you can see the one that says exclusive builds. In there will be the blueprint files for the exclusive builds um, that you know you guys can enjoy. There's some instructions in that channel as well on how to actually install them because it doesn't automatically install them into your game. They're not on the workshop for obvious reasons. Um, so you have to actually download the EPB file and actually slot it into your game's directories manually. Anyway, like I said, there's instructions there in the channel itself. Um, but there, yeah, that's that's basically it, without going into excruciating detail. John, Captain John Luke Spange. <laughs> hey, uh, London, uh, Dong, welcome along. Hey, hey, Nocton as well. Hello, hello. What's occurring? Ow. <laughs> Um, right, so me here. Let me get this camera sorted a second. Hello, I'm over here. Thank you. Anyway, uh, we are here in my base still. Now, just before I went live, there I just fought off the, the talent attack from logging into the server. There we go. Log in, attack, basically. Now, the tenacious here is what we're going to be getting ready to go, and I've already kind of built some stuff for her because we managed to get we managed to get some. Um, oh, enough stuff for some more, more CPU, right? So I'm hoping the Wi-Fi extends over to the hangar bay of the Tenacious here, otherwise this is going to be a little awkward to do. But yeah, the terrain doesn't help. Um, let's see if we can get up here. Now, oh, there we go. Um, Mia Lamo, thank you for becoming a Patreon, like right there. <laughs> and General Turian, thank you for the $20 as well. Oh, dude, thank you very much. Completely unnecessary, but... Thank you, I really appreciate it. Amazing stuff, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for the support. Uh, okay, so I'm in. I'm in my drone. Let's connect to this. We've got some upgrades to do, right? So we need those, those. I've got some extra generators, and I've got some sentry guns here as well. B1, where's B2? Well, there isn't a Bay 2, there's only Bay 1. <laughs> bay 1 is all you've got, all right? You can't Bay 2. Um, so I suppose bay one is redundant, isn't it? Really? So there we go. There's the extra base for the generator. I'm going to slap that in first. And then with that steel block, we can use control, right click, and it slaps it back. Very easy now with that nice little bit. Then we get over here. We want to make sure that we've got the power for the new thrusters, right? Control and click into there. Speaking of. We can take these guys out. 
and we put a big boy in like that can repurpose these um, these medium thrusters in here for now I think mm, so they all went in there so we put two on either side extra bit of lift until we can get a bit more CPU and then we can put uh, meet, uh, large thrusters in there as well okay so I haven't really got anywhere I, I hadn't put the sentry guns in on when I built this thing uh, full anyway so where I'm gonna put them I don't know but there's the basic CPU and there's the enhanced captain no name thank you so much for gifting five members dude that's awesome wow thank you so much that is amazingly generous <laughs> congrats to everyone who get, just got a membership there we go captain no name make sure you guys say thank you very much that's awesome um so you guys are on it today huh thank you very much guys uh, so that's the CPU. What does that do? So that gets us to 625,000 CPU, and we're at only 500... And, let's call it 50. 550, right? Now, the sentry guns... Um, ideally, I want them to pop out of the hull, and they'll tie it to the landed signal logic so that we get um, some... Because we haven't got any turrets on the bottom here. I, I mean, obviously, I can add some turrets, right? So I'm going to pop a hole in the hull here. Why can't I do this? There we go. I was clicking the button, nothing was happening. I was freaking out there. So that was... Okay, that's good. That's that's right. Yeah. Hull breach! <laughs> we get that as a, as a side uh, deal going on. And like I say, set that to the landed signal. And that means that it pops out whenever the ship is landed. Do the same over here. With that one. So at least then, you know, um, we've actually got some protection under the ship until we can get some turrets here. I might be able to put some on straight away now that we've got the extra CPU, but I want to see, actually, first of all, uh, if that's even the case, right? So I'm going to put another one here as well. I'll take that out, put that there, and call that landed. There we go. Anyway, I need a texture gun to correct that, but that's okay. The only problem with... Uh, paint it on one side there. It paints the whole block the same colour, so it's going to look a bit odd, I think, that one. But we'll, we'll manage. And frontal as well. Boom. And landed. There we go. Alright, so that's all the upgrades for the time being. And that, we're still within 550. So we've got 75,000 CPU bare. I think the turrets are 25,000 each, if memory serves. So we can get the other two turrets on the bottom of the ship there, I think. Go get ourselves a, a texture tool as well while we're at it. Um, right, so cheers for the sub, EP, thank you. Should use the sentries for drone defense and not just when landed. They just, the thing is, the sentries, they, they do kill the drones, they just take forever to do it. I don't want to be under fire that much. It's kind of a false economy. You're like, okay, so you you lose cheap you you use cheaper ammo to kill the drones with sentry guns, but then the drones are shooting you for longer because they have to get that close for sentry guns to even respond, which means that you're burning pentaxid and fuel recharging your shields. So what is actually cheaper? Using a higher caliber, like a gap, or burning through pentaxid and fuel. I mean we're talking Fractions, marginal differences, it really doesn't make that much of a difference. Welcome aboard. No skill for no, thank you for gifting five subs over on Twitch! Haha! <laughs> Welcome aboard. Awesome dudes. Yeah, gifted subs. Gifted subs both on YouTube and Twitch count as Welcome aboard. Um supporter, whatever you want to call it. So you can get the exclusive builds. All of you guys receiving Welcome gifted aboard. subs and stuff like that. If you jump on my Discord and link your accounts up. Then you can get access not only to the exclusive builds channel, but this server that I'm playing on right now, along with, you know, these guys. So, um, you know, benefits. <laughs> Good stuff. What was I doing? 
Turrets. There was there. Turrets. Right, so these are 12,500. Well, we can definitely get a couple more of these guys then, can't we? Yeah. In the meantime, then, let's get this chappy working on some ammo. For, uh, there's 1,400 in there, so I think, I think that will do. And some gat rounds. There we go. Twitch subs war. And go. <laughs> Twitch tube subs war. Yes, I mean, I'm definitely not, um, not condoning that action, but also definitely not uh, stopping it 100%. <laughs> What's this? Another cheeky stream this week. Hey, Brian, welcome along. Hey, D dude. How you doing, buddy? Um, would you put the full upgrade one on the workshop for use to get as well? Yes. So what I was thinking with that is I'd put the the basic version, the core one version, on the workshop. I'd put the fully upgraded one, but have it unlisted and then just link to it from the um, from the basic one. Otherwise, you know, it screws with your workshop kind of metrics and stuff. Having two versions of the same ship going up. <laughs> you guys. There's no stopping you, Dragon Stalin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dragon Stalin, awesome dude. Another five memberships over on YouTube. And no skill for Nor. Another five subs over on Twitch. What is going on today? Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Rule of acquisition 223. War is good for business. <laughs> Welcome. Aboard. Thank you very much, guys. Very generous of you. Uh, right. So, yeah, we've got two turrets coming up now. It looks like war. Hope you are well and life is good. All the best. One question. How do you copy a single block? Thanks in advance. Have a great stream. Uh, control right click. You copy a single block. And that, that so if you have, you need to have a block in hand already. So if you have a steel block in hand, look at a block you want to copy, control right click, we'll copy that block. And then you can, you know, it, it copies the shape and the texture, if that's what you mean. Hey, Don. Uh, hello, Spanch. Also, if you guys who got subs come and join the Broken Eden server, you can play in the Xerox campaign exclusive to Broken Eden server, as well as checking out the custom Broken Eden system. Absolutely. Don, you're freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see this enough, do I? Don is um, uh, one of our admins that runs the server and looks after people with problems. And he also runs uh, events on the server, one of which is, as he's just pointed out there, the Xerox campaign, which is a uh, month long, several months long, X number of time long uh, campaign. And what he does is he'll, he'll go over to Xerox territory here and he'll plot a route through Xerox territory. You start like say here and say end, I don't know, like right over here or something like that, several several stars away. And the idea of the Xerox campaign is to clear a path all the way to the target system, planet by planet by planet, route by, uh, through the route. And by, when I say clear a path, that's planetary, orbital, moons, every POI, every patrol vessel, everything must be destroyed in order to move on to the next planet. So, um, if I had to compare it to something, you know how the Major Orders are in Helldivers 2. If you played Helldivers 2, Major Order, you know, go liberate this planet. The, it's very much similar to that. Don essentially sets the overall campaign objective, and then every week, or however long it takes, uh, he'll post orders for task forces to go and complete. The players form task forces, so they'll form, form little fleets, and then they'll work together on each of the objectives and stuff like that. Report back. And the amount of stuff that people destroy, it gets rewards um, and stuff like that. It's it's amazing what he does. It's absolutely amazing. So, um, if you if you're wanting to start a new game of Imperion and jump on the server, you know that is going on. You need a you need a ship to take part. But there's so many ways that you can get a ship here. You can do it yourself, like I've done here. You can buy one off the pit stop um, and other player shops as well that are operating on the server, so... Too many options. <laughs> too many options. Um, now, in the build I did in Children's Building, they were retractable turrets, but I'm just going to keep those two on the hull there so that I don't have to redo the texturing on the other side. 
<laughs> basically. Yeah, they'll be all right. And there we go. So that takes us up to, yeah, we've still got, we've still got almost 50,000 CPU to play with. And now that might be another couple of boosters actually for the shields. Now we've got to be careful with the power. I've got to put the two large extra generators in. I can run this thing with just one extra small if I had the two extra uh, large thrusters. So um, I think we'll be okay. If I add in, I need to unlock these, I think. Oh no, I have already. Of course I have, yeah. Uh, two of these and one more of those. Hopefully we can build those. We can add some a a extra shield strength. And then I think we're ready to pack up and move and, and go. Just hopefully we can get out before the next Talon attack. <laughs> it's not looking likely. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Uh, some catching up to do over here. Okay. So you guys have been busy again. Oh my god. Well, I've been yammering on. Um, first of all, no skill for Nor. Thank you again. Hello, Master. I hope you are all well and life is good or best. One question. How do you copy a single block? Oh, wait. I answered that one, didn't I? Yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. So, Captain No Name. Thank you very much. No skill for Nor. Thank you very much. And Dragon Stallion. Thank you very much. No skill for Nor again. Thank you very much. Mr. Motors. Thank you for the follow. Manic Mick. Thank you for the Prime Sub nine months. Spasm Chasm. Thank you very much for gifting five more memberships over on YouTube. Very nice. Thank you so much, guys. It's it's apparently it's a good month. It's a very good month. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. This is really, really helping um, right now. For the first event you have until 5 p.m. today. OK, well, yeah. If you're joining the server today, then, Don, you're not going to get in it, are you? <laughs> No, it's all good. Right. Don is amazing. He's he's awesome. If you join the server, make sure um, you say hi and be very nice to him because he is just an awesome dude. I'm going to eat a burger to celebrate. There we go. Uh, okay. Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Look at that. It is chopping through some stuff here. Woo! All right. So we're going to leave that for a little bit. Well, in the meantime, I suppose we can do some packing up, can't we? Um, we need to whip the ship with fuel O2. So I put some fuel in it last time. I only put a little bit of fuel in it. Uh, blocks and devices. So how much fuel have we got actually? 411 of these guys. That will take you up to 70%. That's a good That's a good amount to start with. Oxygen. 117 bottles. Easy. 100% that. No problem. Pentaxid. I got 111 refined there but pretty sure we got oh, 186 in there as well we got 166 crystals to turn into fuel we, we should be able to get a full tank basically from that why have we got that in there and that well that makes sense this stuff is starting to go everywhere at the moment <laughs> oh and the other thing i need to do as well is actually name the cargo boxes and that will be something that I'll put on the workshop version as well, because yeah. horrible going into a ship with unnamed cargo boxes, in my opinion. Okay, uh, let's auto group this again. Because I've added a load of new stuff. The cargo boxes we've got, um, some containers and stuff like that for small things, and four at least 320s, 325, 320, and. 3245. Interesting. I do have to be careful here because one of the containers I want to swap out to a harvest container at some point, right? So I actually need to go physically to the containers to see which one I want to be the input box, which is this one here. So we'll call that one input. And I've got caps lock on. Well, that's all weird. There we go. Input. Is the ship farm up and running? No, not yet. So we haven't even powered her on yet. So I need to do that. Get some crops planted. That's a good idea. I just don't want to run run the ship just yet and bur start burning through fuel before um, I absolutely have to, you know? Locks and devices. Locks and devices. Um, and this one could be... Let's do this one as... Um... We're taking consumables, fuel, O2, that sort of thing overflow as well welcome aboard could do that as a loot box actually let's go loot ah 
No, stick, stick to the plan. Fuel in O2. Fuel. Welcome aboard. Fuel. Let's go for Nor again with another five subs. Welcome aboard. Killing it, dude. Thank you so much. My God. I can't keep up with this. This is, this is too much. Uh, CD Rum, thank you for the Welcome sub. Aboard. And Goof Tickle, thank you for the resub. Welcome along, guys. Thank you very much. No skill for North, dude. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. There's so much generosity today. I can't cope. I'm going to have a little breakdown. I'm going to have a little breakdown. Right, so this is the one I want to turn into a harvest container. So I'm going to name this one um, Harvest. And then I'll replace it when I actually unlock harvest boxes. Which I think are a level 25 thing. And basically, because of all the talent I've been murdering. And all the spiders. I... I have already unlocked it. It is actually already unlocked, Welcome which means I may as well just build one now and, and get it done, right? Pirate need pirates need a bigger loot box. Yeah. Well, I, the harvest box I'm thinking will be dead loot box. Um, because I won't be mining all the time, and then once once it's mined, it gets processed into the input box anyway. So, Doom 15, Twitch 15, tied again. <laughs> Are you guys actually tracking this? my god. Papa, thank you for the 36 months resub, dude. Welcome back. I can't believe you're doing this. Right. There we go. Harvest box on the build. So, blocks and devices can go over. Let's start organizing this. The Tenacious. Uh, oh yeah, we've got all the other boxes to rename as well. That's things like small arms, armor and boosts. Yeah, yeah. Godlike. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I told you I was going to have a little meltdown. God it's starting already. It's starting the meltdown. Dragon Stallion, thank you so much for the 10 memberships. Oh my god. Oh, it's going on. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's it, dude? Oh my god. Trying to concentrate here. <laughs> Godlike. Armor. Armor. And boost. Boosty boost. Dragon in with a cheeky 10. She's not very big. No, Godlike. no, she's a starship. She's Didi Didi. She's, she's just teeny tiny. The power of the Imperial stream. Godlike. Power of Imperial stream. Yeah, you're quite right. Can't, can't, yeah. Can't argue with that. Uh, Raffin, thank you very much for being a member for eight months. Uh, the godlike tier as well. Good morning, Spanj, and the rest of you. Thank you, dude. Welcome along. Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> the godlikes just keep on flowing. Uh, right, so I got a, a misc box for things like security cards and random quest items that you, you sort of pick up. And small arms box should be good enough for small arms ammo as well. And that means that... I've got a meds box. We need meds, right? And then we've got two just spares at the moment for other things. That could be for posters and nonsense that you know, but that's also miscellaneous, isn't it? So we're just we'll just go to spare one. Spare one. Um and spare two. We could call that Harry and call that William. There we go. No. Bad joke. <laughs> uh, Tube runs away with a flying 25 to 15 Twitch. All right, Stu. i got to stop reading your messages now. <laughs> hey, uh, Togies. Good afternoon. USS Itty Bitty. Yeah. Lol, wow, good joke. Royal boxes, yeah. Uh, Spanjo, I've been a member for way longer over on Twitch, but switched to YouTube because I prefer this format. Fair enough, dude. Absolutely fair enough. You do you, man. You do whatever you prefer. I mean, YouTube... YouTube has less fun things to do when it comes to live streaming, I'll admit. But um, it's it seems slicker, doesn't it? From a UA point of view, it's definitely slicker. If you had to describe it, I would describe it as slick. There we, there we go. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, right, so we're organizing. So, small arms. Here we go. This is this is fun and exciting, I realize, guys. And we're going to go get it done. This is the sort of stuff I usually like to cut out of the episodes. And so, organizing boxes. Oh my god. Right. 
Um, ammunition controller is plenty big enough for small arms, medium arms, and big arms. And then we got things like misc box is perfect for this sort of nonsense. Armor and mods. There we go. Dual and O2, of course. Dual and O2. And then, um, well, I suppose we could do a trade box, really. But, I mean, I don't, don't plan on doing much trade. Murder? Yes. But not much trade. Not much trade. I've got fridges as well. I need to name those. It, uh, we'll start off with that one. Fuel and O2. That's an O2. So we'd misc count as these graphite and salt things. Trade items. Factory units. And then we're into blocks and devices, aren't we? Right, all of this. The question is, guys, do I take the base apart? Like, all the giblets, or do I leave it? Now, I'd leave it, so maybe another player could pick it up, but it's the 19th of the month, and the planet wipes on the 25th anyway. So, I should probably take it with me, right? What do you guys think? Nothing in that box anymore. Large fridge. I need to turn the ship on before moving that. Oh, and the ammo box. Good one. Ammunition. Strip it down. Yeah, take the good stuff. Hey, Riot. Take it easy, but I'll see you later. Makes sense to strip it, take it. Yeah. That's six days to get started. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, guys. If you are starting out on the server, the, pl the starter planets, just the planet, wipes, and that's planets. Um, so it's all the planets in a system. Let me just clarify a second. So it'll be Shari, Beta 2, Roggery, Omicron, Beta 6, Ningwes, Beta 5, Beta 3, Beta 4. They will wipe. And the moons do as well, I think, actually. I think the moons will wipe out as well, yeah. Um, because it's all about surface deposits, resources, and things like that. And also the ground, the terrain gets effed up a lot by players. Um, we saw it over on Beta 4 yesterday. But it's just holes in POIs and everything. All that gets reset on the 25th of every month, right? But don't panic. If you can get yourself off into orbit with everything you own before it wipes, and then after it wipes, you just come back down and you carry on. The other option is ask some of the other players. They can give you a lift temporarily off planet or just relocate you to another planet entirely. You know, there's plenty of people on the server that are willing to help out people just starting out just so you can avoid the, the, the wipe, basically. So don't panic, you can still join, it's absolutely fine. Just keep that in mind. Alright, so we've got two of the three shield chargers, the other one is building now. And then just the box, and then I think we're done and ready to go. Okay, so let's take... Oh, here we go, look. Alamo... Container controller, connect, and harvest, 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 And then we disconnect from that, connect to the Tenacious's blocks and devices box, and... Yoink, 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 yoink. Yoink, 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 yoink. Um, we've got this stuff as well. Put that in there. Connect to that. Armor and block, armor and mods, me. There we go. We've actually picked up quite a few little light armors. <laughs> uh, look at all those. Um... Laufey, thank you for the six months. Did I really just start reinstalling Imperion again? Lol, here we go. <laughs> Damn, man. Ready for the remote, yeah. If he gets down to the wire, ask for help. Plenty of people will get you off planet and give you a starter CV. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's each up to you. I personally wouldn't accept a starter CV. I need to, uh, I want to do that myself, right? But, um, yeah, if you do want to skip out a lot of the early game and just get into the galaxy and stuff, then, yeah. A lot of factions will just give you old starters because they're just lying around not doing anything. They're, they've moved on, you know? <clears throat> if they haven't scrapped them down, of course. Right, well, let's get the diggity on board. The humbug I'm probably going to dismantle, right? I'm going to put the diggity up here. Is. Perfect. Oh, we wanted to get a texture tool as well, didn't I? We are the four. Oh. You will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. 
You underestimate my power. Oh wait, wrong franchise. <laughs> hey, we're right, we got our shield gens. Okay, let me get a texture tool, texture tool, texture tool. Who the hell is that? Why am I being blind? There it is at the top. What's this? It's always at the top. Bling, 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 bling. There we go. Okay. So, turn you off. Alamo. Clean controller. Point you over there. And this lot then. You can go straight over to the Tenacious's input box. Bang. There we go. Lock some devices for you three. Good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool. So if we connect to that now, and we can start hoovering up the base. Because you've done what you're doing, haven't you? Right, you need to go in a fridge. Uh, let's just turn the, the ship on a second. Right, power on, thrusters off, turrets and weapons kind of on. Not really. Uh, right, so... 24 hours of power in its current state. We should be able to get everything off by then, right? <laughs> um, so let's get the fridge moved over to Tenacious's large fridge. That'll do. We'll organize that when we're on board. Yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Get the grow plots as well. There goes... Um, take the oxygen offline. Decompressing. Fine. I thought that was a talent attack then. I was like, God damn it. No. Oh. There's the oxygen. There's the fuel. They are coming. They are coming. It's like a ticking clock, I swear. They will be here very soon. And all the T Rexes and spiders and everything that they'll bring with them. Save a template. Nah, Papa, this base is trash, dude. I don't saving this. Not a hail, it's horrible. This base is garbage. Right. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Uh, ammo into ammo. Yoink. Um, yoink. I'll leave the Wi-Fi in there for a moment. I got that, I got that. Right. Okay. Turrets. End watching an SE stream and went straight into building mode, seeing what's going on where and how just wow. We've gone full Lord of the Rings now. <laughs> All the sentry guns. Do you know what? In hindsight, I don't know why I built new sentries for the ship. <laughs> We're really on this base. In fairness, the amount of murdering capacity that this base had after I built this wall and put these sentries on it, like, they never got anywhere near my base. Even the level 10 dinosaurs didn't get through. That wall held beautifully. It was good. It was glorious. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, why did these take two hits? I might have just chuck these straight back in the factory again, I don't know. There's nowhere for them to go in the current ship, that's for sure. So the plan with the ships then, I mean, in Reforged, as you know, you need ships for different tasks, right? Although this one, you know, it's going to be a capable miner as well as a little bit of a fighter, which is quite interesting. Um, but we are going to need a much more powerful fighty fighty ship. You know, um, probably next, because I mean that can deal with the that can deal with the mining, can't it? Oh yeah, we need these guys. Um, don't forget my water thingy. Probably full of water. even more water. That three copper is going to be vital. Input. There we go. 
Looking tasty. Looking good. Oh, one more sentry gun. Right there. Okay, I think... Hello. <laughs> what? A hole manifested. Uh, all right. There's the Wi-Fi, and there's the core. I was just thinking for a second, was there anything else to take, but I don't think so. Right. That's it. The Alamo. And I'll remove that uh, waypoint as well. Apparently I can't remove that waypoint. It doesn't even appear as a waypoint. What? Um, okay. Reset waypoints. There we go. Well, a humbug can be properly dismantled and, and recycled now, to be honest. Done well, though. Good little patrol ship against the Talon, that was. Um, okay. I think we're ready to go. Ship's all packed up and stuff. Let's, um, let's plant some crops. We have got quite a selection here um so vegetables pumpkins are the absolute king spice wheat we need a fruit and sweetener bell fruit we got space oranges oh god don't do that um bell fruit will do that's what we need to get ration pack production up and running anyway and i think we can probably do with six vegetables Today is a good day to die. Hey, Wharf. <laughs> that was random. Um, oh, we need mushrooms, don't we? Have we got mushroom sprouts anywhere in here? No, but we should be able to produce them easy enough. Pretty sure we've got mushrooms in the fridges. So, fridge one. That's the large fridge. So let's see. Let's call that food. And that's the one with all the ingredients in it. And let's call that um, ingredient. Yes. Mushrooms. Yep, mushrooms are there. there is... No. Mushrooms. Wait, what the hell's going on here? It hasn't actually taken, has it? Ah, I hate that. Ingredients. Enter, 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 enter. Enter. Thank you. Give me some mushrooms. Make it so. Give me two mushrooms. That is actually two mushrooms. One one, one thing you'll give you two, so yeah. Uh, and then we got an extra spare slot there, which I will dedicate to... Natural stimulant or herbal leaves. Or plant fiber. I think it herbal leaves. We go. Mushrooms are in. Bing, bing. There we go. We have a established farm. We can now activate the hydroponics switch and the grow lights come on. Oh, and we better turn oxygen on before they just all die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Deletes the marker, but doesn't delete the marker. Okay, good to know, Shandrel. Thank you. Is the is the sound a bit? Is the music a bit loud and wonky? My apologies. I can turn it down a little bit. Hopefully, that's okay. Uh, Dano, thank you for the follow. Welcome along, buddy. Be on your guard. Dano, are you are you from Australia, mate? Bit late for you, then. Would it be, yeah, like middle of the night? Dano? <laughs> it's okay. Okay, cool. Right, good. Um, we are done. Not loud, just odd. Sounds okay in my headphones. So, whatever it's doing to the music, it might be Twitch. Doing some odd compression or, or something. I don't, I don't know. 
but yeah, like it's certainly nothing that I'm hearing right now. Small arms. And there you go. I have got five repeating crossbows that I have looted from the Talon over the year, and I know that there is a trade mission where they ask for five repeating crossbows. So, yeah. <laughs> Joke's on you, Talon. I'm going to get rich off your suffering, bitches. Right, anyway. Um, so there's some extra shield boosty boosts, and they are 25,000 CP reach. Oh my god, so I can add two of them, basically. And that will that will hit my... That will, that will be my CPU done. That will be my CPU done. There's just, just two. So I can get one more capacitor and one more charger. If I add another capacitor about the charger, then the shield will take ages to charge, right? So, Okay, so we're going to get... Mine connected? Yeah. This thing's got nothing in it. Yeah. There we go. And the harvest box. Bingo. And for reasons, it does not calculate the correct amount unless you take out and put back in a container extension so we control right click that and then put that back it, it copies the uh, text string and there we go we've got the 320 back stupid but there we go um okay there it is everything's fine i was worried there i was like hang on why did it was i on salvage mode no, I'm okay. Um, oh, I tell you one other thing as well. That is a regular constructor. We've got an advanced here, but that is twice the CPU. So that's going to be problematic as well. That means that we can only get one, ideally, really, of the of the charges in. Um. Hmm. If I were the talent, it's a pittance to what you're going to face in the future battles. I think you're going to do. Yeah. But the, 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 you got to remember, the talent were, you know, I was fighting them with a survival tool. <laughs> there. Yeah. So that's a charger. Let's put another charger in, I think. Wait, hang on. That, that, so a charger, maybe it's worth not putting any of them in yet, because that obviously reduces my shield capacity by 2,500. It's already at 9,900. Taking another 2,500 off of that, it's not a lot of capacity at all, even with extra charging speed. I think I'm just going to have to wait until I get another CPU uh, extension. Maybe that should be our first priority. Let's have a look. Inputs, blocks and Ds. So, an improved, we need eight bridges, of which we have five. So we either need to find gold and enough of everything else. Can we get um, mining lasers? That might be better. Get a couple of those. We've got two advanced upgrade kits, right? These are 15,000 each. Oh, bugger off. All these people join in the server. That always happens when someone joins the server. <laughs> so when he start, joins the server, they start downloading files. For some reason, there's like a bug or something in the, in the net code. Somebody starts downloading the files for the server. It, it interrupts everyone's connections for a few seconds. It's insane. The amount of bugs in multiplayer is just... Well, it's always been the case. It's just absolutely nonsense. Why am I on here? I don't even know why I'm looking at the blueprint library. <laughs> what am I looking for? I've forgotten now. Um... So 30,000 CPU, yeah, we're, we're within. So let's get two laser drills. Let's get two laser drills, right? Even two CV laser drills is going to enable us to hit up asteroids really quickly. Much quicker than going down on a planet, getting the diggity out, digging the ground, you know? Or even using the diggity on an asteroid, it's still much quicker. Make a blueprint just in case. Well, the blueprint's intact right now. No, that's fine. I'm not. I'm going to save the template, but I won't make a blueprint. Not until it's like completely upgraded. But and then I've already got that one as well, so it's okay. Uh, we need to go out on the front of the ship. So what we need to do out here is take 
some of the antennas off. I'll be sure to keep that in mind and sign in when there's less people on. Uh, don't worry about it, General Turian. It's, it's fine. We, we're all aware of it. I just wanted to let you guys know why that was happening. Um, like, it doesn't kick me off the server. It's just a temporary little kind of, ah! And then it's back, you know? Um, yeah, if you want to jump on, jump on. Join us. And together we shall rule the galaxy. Or something. Um, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Are we going to go F up the traders? The Polaris colonist scumbags? What I want to do, and I know what you I know what you want me to do as well. I know what we want to do. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know you guys too well. And I know that there are some amazing POIs here and incredible loot just waiting to be liberated from the corrupt scumbag that is the Brotherhood. Convoy above your planet. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, the, the convoy above the planet... Uh, I don't think four gats is going to do it. Find Gerald and then sleep again. Four gats is not going to do the convoy. And, uh, you know, I, I'd want um, four heavy laser cannons and at least two artillery cannons before taking on something like that, right? So that is the plan for this bird. I mean, once I get the extra CPU capacity, these gats are going to be replaced with laser cannons. And these two antennas in the outer sections here and here will become artillery cannons. And this thing will have some serious teeth. Um, not only with the laser cannons as well, we've got space on the hull for more turrets. So I might have some rocket turrets in there. You know, um, I have a couple of point defense turrets on the back. Like some sentinel flax or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got plans. This thing is going to have some teethages. Right, there you go. There's our laser drills. So let's get two middle ones here and slap, slap. We're going to have to create a drills uh, signal. Drills, vice, or a group again. Harvest, harvest. First of all, that needs to be moved to the cargo box group because that's ridiculous. Those two need to be on the drills signal there we go bingo she's already a freaking mining ship <laughs> we haven't even left the starter planet yet amazing the evidence is all on uch ships it seems even the ones that are spawned with the token um oh before you leave the starter system you should find the stowaway in the uch ship oh yes 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 i didn't complete that last playthrough I found a bit of it, but then, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to proceed. You must die. <laughs> die straight, brothers in arms. It's what you're going to be in taking on the brothers. Oh, I know. I know. Because a certain Mr. Stuber in the chat there is... is the builder of one of the POIs that I'm quite keen to run. Barn 42. Hmm. It's a bit of a beast. Um, are we ready to go? Are we going to punch it? Shall we engage? I think so. Let's do this. Thrusters. Activated. Shields. Online. Uh, so with that the sentries should have gone in let's get turrets online as well there we go yes that turns the drills on as well which is annoying it's funny isn't it you turn the drills off and it, it switches all weapons off to the off state yet clearly those, those gats are on right <laughs> let's go it on all right, so we're drawing 41% power while hovering while it's charging shields as well. Oh, yes. Captain No Name back with another five memberships over on YouTube. Dude, so awesome. Thank you very much. And Laufey as well. Thank you for gifting subs over on Twitch. 
six minutes ago. I'm sorry I missed that while I was yammering away. Dude's awesome. I just, the generosity you guys are being amazing today. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ludicrous speed, go! Shields are up, 37% and charging. Here we go. Quick ping. Ambra, Polaris. Well, we're not at war with the Polaris just yet. There's Xerax something or other over there. It looks like a ship. That's different. And there's the Star Convoy there. Okay. We are out in space. We have left Shari. We are on our way. Um, first thing I want to do is actually kind of a little boring. Oh, I'll do some mining. <laughs> oh, it sounds horrendous, doesn't it? Right. But if we have a look at our input box. It's looking a little sad, right? You'll be careful wherever that ship is over there. Input box. Uh, Blanco Draco, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome along, buddy. <laughs> yeah, so we are. This is this is the resources we now have, right? So, 166 pentaxi crystal that I should be getting refined into fuel right now. Uh, 2,000 Promethean pellets. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. We are running straight into that whatever that is. We'll find out, I suppose, won't we? Yeah, it's going straight for whatever that is. Maybe I'll swing by that other one. <laughs> Are we going to do the diggy diggy hole? Yep. Swing by whatever that one is. I'll do that one. Right, so, I mean, upgrades still to do. Reverse thrust, medium thrusters. The side thrusters need to be upgraded to mediums. Um, the down thrusters need to be upgraded to mediums. I think all the lift thrusters are already mediums because I left them as medium on purpose. Uh, yeah, I think so. But if not, they need to be upgraded as well, but I think they're mediums. Oh, a silicon. Yeah, well, that's good because our silicon uh, is at a whopping 684, which is actually probably one of the better off resources that I have right now. But uh, there we go. Four gats on board, remember guys, so we are not heavily armed. Certainly not in order to take on a Heriat over there. <laughs> Run away. Run away. Eventually we can take on a Periat. We will take on a Periat. But yes. The Atabra, even down there, would probably kick my ass, I think. That thing is pretty well armed, if I remember correctly. Look at the dark side. Mm-hmm. Right, bring it to a stop. Activate the drills. Can we bring it to a bit of a quicker stop than that? Oh yeah, no, I've got friggin' smalls in reverse. <laughs> Everything's in reverse. So yeah, we really need to get uh, our CPU upgraded and our thrusters upgraded and stuff like that. Stuff like that before we can start taking on serious threats. But let's get these mining drills to work. Oh my god. The small thrusters. Oh, uh, there we go. Everything's fine. We'll get some nice silicon ore here. Lovely. And what's easier, internal or external? External, I think. It's still, it's, yeah, I mean, it's not as quick as, say, you know, an eight drill mining ship. Of course not, but still getting a, that was 201 silicon ore we just picked up. Damn. The speed at which mining escalates is if you think about when you're mining with a survival tool right at the beginning of the game and then mining with just two cv laser trip <laughs> the escalation in, in how much resources you actually end up digging out of the ground per minute is insane hey gordos uh, gordosian welcome along how do you upgrade your hammerhead starship i mean it would be easier to show you than talk you through it <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's, there's there's an empty shield bay in the, in the ass. There's a, a little hatch on the underside of the butt that if you open, you can jump in. And there's, there's a bay there that's just big enough for a, a 3x3 shield array. But, you know, like with this ship, you need to start with a CPU. 
because uh, when you spawn it in, it's already at max. Everything else is kind of obvious, you know? The thrusters shouldn't need much in the way of touching, to be honest, on the hammerhead. Unless you bring it into Reforged and then, yeah. With a multi tool. Hey, Tristan. Damn it, my battery is about to die. I'm going to have to watch this later. All right, Tristan, take it easy, dude. Thank you for joining. I'm sorry about your battery. I hope it charges soon. Right, I think that'll be enough silicon for now. Let's have a look. What does that net at us? That'll be the harvest box. 4,449 silicon. With two laser drills in that amount of time. The Hammerhead is my favorite starter. It is, a, it is a good ship. I really enjoyed making the Hammerhead. It was a decent one. Um, I'm glad you like it. Right, small constructor. Let's turn you on. Input. Do input, yeah. Um. <clears throat> so, that's... Let's say 9,000. No. 900. Really? Have I mathed correctly? Problem is putting on, like, silicon, iron, and copper on more than what the ore is. Every other resource, I'll just, like, set it to 10,000 and let it run, right? But with iron, copper, silicon, if it goes over the available ore, it'll then start consuming your crushed stone. And it, it will consume it so fast as well. All right, so we've got a bit of silicon check out I think that that ship has moved on now no it hasn't there it is evasives evasives <laughs> evasives red alert yeah I don't want to be pissing around with a periat right now bye that is on a patrol route between that silicon asteroid and whatever they are over there what a d-word you spawned it in on the server. Ghost Dragon, why would you spawn a non reforged ship on a reforged server? <laughs> no! Don't spawn a vanilla ship. It's not going to work properly. Too late now. You're just going to have to modify it as best you can. But you're going to find the thrust to power very underwhelming. You're probably going to need to upgrade the generators as well. But like I said, CPU. You need to start with CPU. And an ammo box. Because <laughs> I don't think it has one. Can anyone buy it? If you talk to Don, right, you could probably swap it out with Don for another starter. That will work properly. Although he's probably very busy right now. <laughs> also, Miss Box will help you out as well. Talk to Miss Box. She's amazing. If she's on. Is Miss Box even on? No, Miss Box isn't about right now. Cobalt. Um, I think I picked up quite a bit of cobalt recently, but actually I've gone through most of it, haven't I? I'll pick that up as well. This time it wasn't me, Sponge. It was Kataro. Trying to get my attention, huh? I see you. Okay, we need to start breaking way sooner with these small thrusters in reverse. Or I just ram the asteroid. That stops me very quickly. And, uh, boink. There we go. <laughs> Little love tap. Miss Box used to stream, but not seen her in a long time. Um, yeah, I think she's busy with her radio show, though. She streams, but audio only, if you know what I mean. Old technology called radio. Dig this. There you go. Dawn is on it. Yeah, the SAS are, the SAS are specialized in starter stuff as well. On Discord, uh, we got trade threads on Discord. So you can see what's for sale, who's asking for what. Stuff like that. The hammerheads should fetch enough. You might need to supplement it 
with a bit of extra credits there goes dragon but should fetch enough for you to get a decent little start there might even be a modified hammerhead available i don't know Um, I don't know the name of a radio station off the top of my head, I'm afraid. Um, it's, it's one of these locals things. Local deals. I'm trying to mine and read the chat at the same time. Hey, Spasm Chasm, thank you very much for being a member for eight months. Radio streaming for blind people. <laughs> nice. Makes perfect sense. Yep. Oh, real radio. Yeah, actual radio radio. Like, you know, with the voice and everything. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Welcome along. This is Radio DJ Spange, and I hope you're having a great time. We're going to play some wonderful records for you today, so get yourself a nice cup of tea and relax with me. First up, some messages. We'll be right back. And all the cheese. All right, wait, how much cobalt have I just picked up? 2,000. Let's get a little bit more. Oh, hang on. Let's check our back door first. Are we being snuck up upon? Three kilometers and closing fast. Yes, we are being snuck up upon. That sounds sleazy. <laughs> that, isn't that the, isn't that the, uh, the point there, Steve? <laughs> isn't that the trick? I probably make a terrible DJ as a result. There we go. Right, that'll do. Let's get out of here before Mr. Periat shows up. There's a magnesium deposit just there, but I'll skip that one. In lieu of that dickhead. <laughs> Bice now, he's nearly got me. Not today! Right, Promethean. Let's get that. Some Pentaxid, and let's go. First up on Radio Spange, a song by our most loved hero, Troublemaker, by Gerald. <laughs> hey, Big Evil, welcome along, buddy. That was a frighteningly good DJ performance. Thank you, Kiki. <laughs> I need to read before spawning them in. Ghost Dragon, you're not the first. You will not be the last. Don't beat yourself up, buddy. But yeah, vanilla builds in Reforged generally end up being over underpowered and over CPU. And Reforged builds in, in, in vanilla generally end up missing half the blocks. <laughs> uh, right. Promethium. And there's that star combo as well. Hidden station. Yeah. Not so hidden, it comes up on your frickin' detector. Uh, there isn't pentaxid in this orbit, I don't think. No, there isn't. Okay, so we'll need to warp somewhere else. I remember when we went there, there was a pentaxid asteroid straight away. We'll pop over there. Grab that. Now, uh, from a mission point of view, we need beta 2, beta 7, beta 8, and an asteroid field. And we get some nice little nav data and stuff as a reward for that, so it's worth doing. All right, let's start slowing down because the reverse thrusters suck. Popper asteroid over there as well, actually. <laughs> this is how long it takes this thing to stop. Hello! What are you? You're the Attenborough. Well, you're not hostile at the moment, so thank you. I think, actually, that's not the ship I was thinking of, though. The one that's heavily armed. There we go. Prometheum. I feel like the Star Trek music should be playing right now, not EGS music. <laughs> you nailed the proportions pretty nicely, really. The nacelles aren't like too big or small. The saucer section, the same. It looks a little NX. NX1. Uh, some people were saying it looks like the Nova, which, yeah, 
definitely got a bit of Nova going on in there. I wasn't basing it on any one in any one particular design. It's just, you know, the nacelle saucer thing is you know. The thing is the nacelles work so well in Imperion. Because they put the thrusters on the outer edges. Get really good performance out of the thrusters out there. The rest kind of just like happened. And that soggy biscuit was truly soggy. <laughs> <laughs> Pit stop crew, ready to negotiate with the Xerox on your behalf. Getting lots of cross stone here. That amber as a ship looks like old, out of date version. It does, did, didn't it? It looked really old. Did not look like it belonged. It's where I've run into an amber or something with that name that was freaking armed to the teeth. It was crazy. It was an awesome build. Bit of diggy diggy. Sorry, guys. We'll get to some action soon. I just need that kind of like initial surplus of resources in order to then just like crack into the game, you know? Especially Promethean. We get two more laser drills on this thing and this will go a lot quicker. Some might say twice as fast. <laughs> Had to get my nephew on the bus. Welcome back, Rat. Next time, how about trying a ship based on the human Stargate SG-1 flicks? They look kind of cool. I think the, the thing is the Deadless and the Deadless class ships, they've been done to death on the workshop. There's so many of them. And some of them are, are like amazing, really, really good recreations. I don't know how... This doesn't really... The Deadless style, I mean, it's, it's it's your standard sort of cock and balls phallic freaking design, isn't it? <laughs> the thing with the Star Trek ships, in particular the Starfleet ships here, is they're very distinctive. Very distinctive. You might be able to get a Klingon vessel, because that also uses nacelles. Um... And then obviously they have quite interesting bridge designs. Um, I'd say with Stargate Universe, your 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 Gaul designs uh, and your your Asgard designs are probably more distinctive than the human one things. The human ones are very, very much what you would imagine if the U.S. Air Force designed a ship, what they'd look like. <laughs> Stupid. Basically. Now the Deadless doesn't look stupid, it's a cool ship. Cardassian should be doable. Oh uh, yeah, the Cardassian, that would be interesting. Cardassian ships are weird, because they've actually got nacelles, but they're actually built into the saucer section. It's really strange. But very cool. Don has actually got a passable Romulan design. I mean, it's not a Romulan ship at all. It's one of his uh, Reavers faction, I think it is. Ravagers, sorry. Faction ships. But it's got that kind of split wing thing that the De Derek De Derek's has. Very cool. There's iron, and we are getting slower and heavier the more ore we pick up, I tell you, especially Promethean. We need to get this all turned into... Um, or ingots as quickly as possible. Working on it. Working on it, boss. <laughs> uh, right, two point six five point two five five thousand two hundred five thousand three hundred five hundred thirty. Oh, well, actually, cobalt doesn't get burned in from. Crush stone does it, so that's fine. Where did the copper one go? There's copper.
thing with small thrusters is that they get impacted so much quicker about when, when you start taking on heavy weight. You get old school wing commander noise. Kardashian ships have massive nays. <laughs> Did see a Matt CZ's warbird. Hmm. The dual carrier is Romulan inspired ship on the workshop. The USS Nimitz is Federation inspired. There you go. There you go. Cardassian ships are really ugly. Definitely not the most attractive in vessels. I'll agree with you on that one. All right, should we pay the pirates a little visit? Do you think, guys? Let's just start mining their asteroid. It's got copper in it by the look of it. Oh, hi. It may appear my guns have found something of interest. <laughs> They're not going to get through, though, are they? They're just shooting into bare rock. All right, let's configure them. It's uh, a good point, I see. Make an entrance. Is that going to let me do that while it has a core? No, it's not, isn't it? I'm going to have to core it, I think. Yeah, it doesn't actually let me dig. Why are these still shooting? Is this the one that has the turrets on the inside? Oh, man. It is, it is, it is. This is actually quite a big POI then, isn't it? Right. Should leave the ship here then. We'll have to turn the turret off of bases. And then remember to put them back on bases later. I think because it's got an admin core. Ah, uh, sentry guns. Why are the sentries doing out? None of them should be out. I'm not landed. Wait a minute. Did I just land because I. Yep. <laughs> The side docks. <laughs> Why are they? I've, I've clearly lifted off, guys. You should retract now. Right, what are you doing? Retract. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, the side docks. <laughs> um, I've got EVA on. <laughs> Which means I won't freeze my butt off on the way over. But that means I'm going to be extra squishy inside. I wonder if I can make it over and in before freezing to death. If I take an armor booster. Uh, diggity. I was like, where are my, where are my advanced armor boosters? There they are. Hey, yeah, that dining is too real. Can't make hot drinks. I think I can. Right, so let's get armor and mobility. Oh, Christ. Instead of oxygen and EVA. Hey do Nyali, thank you for the follow. Sorry if I just massacred your name. I haven't got any ammo for my minigun. Have I got ammo for? Snipers. Normal weapons. Rocket launcher. Grab a rocket launcher. That will definitely do something. Small arms. Have I got a rocket launcher? Yeah. Yeah, I got a rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah. Please ditch the hover bike. It's a huge amount of volume. I mean... 
yeah, I can ditch the hover bike. But if I get stranded on a planet and I don't have it anymore, I'm going to blame you. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> All right. Um, there it is. We need to get in quick. We're in. Not freezing anymore. That's the good news. Bad news? I'm going to meet a sentry gun very soon. I hate those bloody things. All right, let's get onto the meds box straight away. Yeah, where are all my meds? Oh, I know where they are. Giggity. Giggity. Giggity, giggity. There we go. Nasty buggers there. <sighs> Thank God for that armor boost. I got a shotgun Xerox that closed. He's got nothing to say to me. I can't kill him because he's part. He's actually blocked. Gerald, is that you? Dick. Give me your good stuff. <laughs> wow, three or in one, of course. Uh, I, um, okay, I'm just going to loot straight into the harvest box here. That's nice, though. Plasma blaster. Very good gun. Fans, enable kill, Xerax kill mission. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, activate mission. Proceed. Yeah, because there are actually Xerox in here, isn't there? Good idea. And there are sentry guns in here as well, aren't there? Yep. Oh, one rocket that time. Took a quick seat. No big D. Uh, okay. Fusion cells, delicious. There we go. Alas, our rare life calls. We'll have to catch highlights later. Good luck, Spanish. Good hunting. Much loot. And maybe the RNG. And may the RNG not be a complete bastard. Thank you, Kiki. Take it easy, buddy. I'll see you later. Oh no, who trusted Spanish with the new ship? Don't they know what happened last time? There is a reason we only gave him used ships. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hope you're doing well, buddy. That Tony took one rocket that time as well. Devil. Oh. Give me food. New laser pistol ammo, always welcome. Good little sniper. Check the barracks first.
Okay. Definitely dodge that. Got here anyway. Yeah, that's delicious. Delicious. Many sniper rifles. I mean, when we come to um, our uh, Brotherhood of Far campaign, we'll probably end up becoming friends with the pirates anyway. <laughs> Why did the Xerix sound like they just had a bad curry? Reloading the rocket launcher. I do like the laser rifle though. It's it's really punchy. It's quick enough firing. Just a good gun. Solid weapon. Excuse me. Need to get a deconstructor on our ship at some point. Not sure where the hell that's going to go. Shame about the sound effects, though. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's better that than the pew, 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 to be honest. That and just row me up the wall. Some Creole bastards. Oh! Wow, those sentry guns took off more health than everything previously. And there's Dermal Burn. There was someone hiding around here. I could hear him. Gold. Lovely. Gold, cash, treasure. Lovely. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, got a bunch of stuff on me that I need to put into the harvest controller. Because these traders are actually pretty good. Like, you know, ammo and stuff, really cheap. So, it makes sense becoming friends with the pirates if you're going for a dark side playthrough. Right now, though, they're more generous when they're not being generous. You know what I mean? 
Right, how do I call this place? Is it possible to even call this place? Because I think this place actually for the story, I think. Um, oh, back. Ah! Oh, nearly killed me, bloody hell. Right, gotta be careful with that now, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, hello. Thing is, I could throw about 50 rockets at it and it won't kill it. Woo! Delicious gold. Platinum, platinum, platinum. How much of a pain in the ass platinum is to get? So more of that, please. Hey, sir. Shooting around corners, asshole. Boxes. Core is at the top of the lift. Core in the first room in the boss of the base. Isn't the core in the captain's room upstairs? In the floor. Oh yeah, of course it is. It's in the floor. The first room. Yeah, but it's an admin. I'm not even sure if we can damage it. It was behind that epic loot container, wasn't it? But yeah, I think it is because it's a story POI. Basically indestructible. I don't even know if we can actually damage these turrets, you know. Um, I'm gonna have to have a little look at them with um No, they've got damage on them, so in theory we could damage them. Ooh! We're shooting through the terrain, you cheeky devil. Yeah, they're both damaged. I've only got two C4 though, so <laughs> probably not gonna happen. Um, yeah, I don't have any more C4. So I'd have to hit it with rockets. Which is not bleeding likely, really. Stand up. A spoon. Why aren't you talking to me? What did I just loot, anyway? Uh, misc. No, harvest. Root beer formula. <laughs> it's a vanilla POI. Grab your head! Mind Shari Orbit might be a bit of a mess, really, because it's not actually um, supposed to be a, a starter planet yet, yeah, anyway. Alright, let's get out of it. The root beer bloody formula. Oh dear. It'd be fun if it's in Reforged Eden and 2, unchanged with turrets that have 30,000 HP. You looted a log. Yeah. That's definitely a log. It's the root beer formula from the vanilla mission. I think if we can get eyes on the order this is none of this is damaged, which means it's indestructible. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm properly stuck. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I haven't been stuck in a while, guys. Let me jetpack. There we go. Let's get out of it. Place should not be here. Why aren't you talking to me? I have to kill everyone. Yeah, you should at least have something to say. You'd think, wouldn't you, Kim? You'd think. Good news is my ship is still here. That's always a bonus. Alright. 
We were on our way to mining some copper. Hopefully the uh, small constructors had a little bit of time to work through uh, some more of that ore. My mum always said, if you have nothing nice to say, to keep your trap shut. <laughs> very good point. Very, very good point. Break! Break! Oh, God. Boop. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to get those... Uh, get those reverse thrusters sorted out, huh? I think... Don't, doesn't the exploration mission give you some bridges and matrices as well, though? I think they're smalls, though, aren't they? Small ones. We need to hit up some abandoned POIs, I think. Not many of those in the starter system. Let's get a bunch of copper. They're breaking for the win. So lucky physics aren't like space engineers. I tell you, if they were, then I would prioritize reverse thrusters over everything else. <laughs> At the moment, they're just kind of like, yeah, you need to stop, but it will take a while. Find out ironic that you're in a Star Trek ship on a baddie playthrough. Mirror universe, baby. For the Empire! For the Emperor! <laughs> For the Empress. Depending on what timeline you're in. Empress. Hoshi Sato. Uh, I did not turn the turrets back on bases. Thank you very much for reminding me. Paint your ship red. Um, I think you'll find that it actually has some red detail on it already. Although in this light, you can't really see it. I didn't want to paint it like bright red because that's Xerox colors. So there is actually some dark red um, detailing in the hull. In the Ten Terran Empire yellow though. Well, it is in the Enterprise anyway. What is is it in the original series yellow or red? Changes depending on whether it's DS9, bring in original. Okay. Probably enough copper. So what we got? Harvest controller has now got four thousand six hundred sixty-nine copper in it. That should probably keep us going for a little while. I imagine. We need to organise our loot box as well. We've got loads of good stuff in this. Delicious deliciousness. Lots of good stuff, man. Huh? Right, fuel on O2. Ammo box. There we go. And that one as well. Misk. Small arms. Another, you know, um, heavy armor upgrade. Good. Right. Now we've just emptied that. I just hit the button again. <laughs> Whoops. Small constructor. And how much? How much ore did we get? Four thousand seven hundred. No, ten thousand one hundred. One thousand. 
There we go. Okay, I think we should leave Sherry Orbit. We need some Pentax in anyway. Let's go to... I know where there's Pentaxid. Uh, oh, there's Pentaxid there, but we need to reactivate uh, Beta System Survey. Beta 2 or 3. Beta 2 is right there. Lock target. Bye, Shuri. I will never, ever see you ever again. Means as you've been removed. You're going to push me to stop playing Imperial again. Is that what you're trying to do, mister? Trying to hold strong until reforging 2. Um, well, I've from he hear it from a good source. The reforging 2 is not far away from its beta version. Um, so... If you can hold on a little bit longer, I think you will um, appreciate it. Pentax. I mean, the ship is, you know, okay, so Star Trek ships typically have a silver kind of light gray hull. Some of them even have white. This has got a, a freaking dark black. This section, this section seven at least, you know, Section 31, at least. I don't remember the number, is it 31? <laughs> it's section 31. I'm having a real blank on the number now. Doink! Boop. Or is it lost time ship? Mm. Yeah, section thirty one. Ah, I thought so. They're supposed to be working on a series, a section 31 series. Did that, where did that go? Did that, that just disappear? Was it section 7 from Babylon 5? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Don't keep track now. Right, I think that's all the head taxed off that rock. 222 pent. Let's pop down on beta 2, though. The hell is the planet? Oh, above me. Am I right? We do need to stop and get some iron as well. We get that iron. I mean, pretty much we've got iron, silicon, copper, and cobalt. We've got the four main. In good supply, then. It looks like you updated the engines. Yeah, so I, I, some of them, some of them have been updated. I'm not definitely not at full power yet. I need more CPU, which is why I'm mining so many resources right now because I know that you know to get a a large CV uh, CPU extender, an improved one. It's not just gold, you know, for the bridges and matrices. It's it's so much copper. It's so much silicon. It's so much cobalt. You need a you need everything really to make them. Uh, I haven't got the firepower yet to take them from what reliably have them. And there you go, that's that's my reverse thrust. <laughs> to just boop into asteroids. Boop! <laughs> I shall boop you. They'll stop me because you have no choice. My side thrust is pitiful, my reverse thrust is pitiful, everything else is okay. Down thrust is also pitiful, but that doesn't come up very often.
Yeah, Void Knight. Yeah, I basically I wasn't yeah, going to be able to get an episode done today. Um, so I didn't want to leave you guys sort of four, four days without an episode, you know, or three days. But there's a lot of this sort of stuff that just needs to get done. So I could chat to you guys while I do it. I'm on that planet. There was Promethean rock floating around out there. Oh, we just picked up Promethean, so it should be okay with that. Grabbing a bunch of iron. I've already got four small thrusters in reverse. <laughs> Considering the amount of weight that this thing's now carrying as well. With all the rock. Slowly being transformed into all, into ingots. You know, I suppose that's another thing that we need to decide what we're going to do. Is where to set up our little base. Our hideout. Our stash. Right, how much is that? 4,000 iron ingots. Fantastic. Okay. They're working through that silicon ore. It's got a lot of work to do, this wall constructor, bless it. <laughs> uh, right, so beta 2, we need to pop down on that and hope the lift thrusters hold. Oop, sorry. And then off to beta 7 moon and beta 8 and then the asteroid field. Find a claimable asteroid sponge. I... I assume they don't exist in the starter systems, do they, Stu? There we go. Be as horizontal as possible, so I can literally just go, whoopsie daisy. That is not... There we go, yep, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Achieved! <laughs> right. Beta 7 moon. Oh, yeah, over here. Gas giant moon. Yeah, if I find a claimable asteroid, that would be a really cool base. Never set one up. Perfect for a pirate playthrough. Part of me misses just being on a planet, though. You know? Actually setting up on a deposit. Not like a Promethean deposit or something. I was trying to make a ship similar to yours, but it's frozen at the moment. Oh. What in particular is frozen? What, the game? What is that? Oh, way station. Meh. There's a sparrow here. Teeny tiny little ship. A couple of Xerox vessels. <laughs> and there should do its work. Top speed of 100 with these thrusters, though. That's nice. No, I have builder's block. Oh, yeah, builder's block is real, dude. Real and serious. Um, what I can suggest is you go onto Google Image Search, and you just search like sci-fi Corvette or Freighter or whatever, any anything like that, and just have a look through Deviant Art, Deviant Art, and stuff like that. Um. It can, it can help inspire. 
you might see like a little shape or you know a idea in some of the builds out there and designs out there moon water treatment plant tungsten deposits we haven't got tungsten yet I was just going to take back off but uh, missile silo promethean refinery fueling depot where 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 it would appear that the Xerox have some stuff that I want. Alien outpost. Hold the phone. Holy crap. Please tell me that's not all guns. That looks like all guns. That is all guns. Back away, back away, back away. What the hell is that? Why is it so armed? What? It's got so many guns on it. Right. Um, Gats, do you want to maybe tidy up the drone presence around here? You know, just an idea. I don't want to tell you how to do your job and all that stuff, but do your f***ing job. Yeah, right then. Nice flat area to touch down on. Flatish. We have touchdown. All right. Thrusters, you may disengage. It's a normal reforged even POI. It's fine. What's the problem? <laughs> yeah. Tungsten. Uh, right. First of all, let's loot these buggers. Mode. Do I need uh, these are nodules? Do I need a mining scanner for tungsten? I can't remember now. Just get to the middle of the deposit and see what it is. She's got legs. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's got what I call stabilizers. Yeah, I think I need um I think I need an ore scanner. Oh scanner, scanner. I haven't even unlocked it, look. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, I've got all this stuff on me. Harvest. Deal with you later. Oh, right, yeah, because I lured the shit. Oh, the, the plants are growing. <laughs> That's good. seeing any uh, any blue stuff coming up
put it on me. That's all you need. Where's this bloody tungsten then? Ah, there it is. If it doesn't come up on the ore scanner, you just have to kind of dig blindly until you find it. There we go. Making contact. Tungsten ore, tungsten ore, tungsten ore, and a fork. Am I in range of the tenacious from here? Ah ha ha! <laughs> Look at that freaking Wi Fi range, dudes. Dudes. Right, still there. Now. The tungsten, I think, primarily is made for um, colonist am ammunition anyway. So it's not super important to have loads. Hey, you missed boxes online. Hey, you missed box. Miss Box is also an amazing admin on the server. Hard at work. Oh, hey! Hello! How did I get here? <laughs> Am I on an episode of How Did I Get Here? Uh, Railgun ammo also uses tungsten. Oh, nice. There you go, then. It is a good idea to have some. Heavy stuff, though, huh? Just swinging my drills around wildly until it digs out some tungsten. A bit wild. Five hundred and twenty three. Oh, diggity. Tungsten in real life is also pretty heavy. Yeah, it weighs a ton, dude. Right? Oh, a little drone came by and got absolutely nailed. It was worrying to hear that noise, isn't it? But actually, that's the bullets on the drone. Not on the hull of my ship. Give me your giblets. They belong to me now. Oh, there we go. Unintended. I got some um, tungsten. Delicious. Another thing for the small constructor to work on. For the next 70 years. <laughs> I think it's just Give me working overtime. Giblets. Can we actually make tungsten in here? Make magnetic plates, but not tungsten ingots. Seriously? Wow. Alright, well, you better get on it then. Uh, I need to move that over to... This box is filling up so fast. Tungsten. Am I being a spoon? Why can't I see it? There it is. Spoon confirmed. All right, that should lower the weight considerably. Look at these. Beckers are almost fully grown as well. Is he able to start producing ration packs soon? Uh, right, there is a oxygen station nearby, was that? That little peekaboo feature makes mining under Xerox POIs very interesting. Yeah, <laughs> you just pop up above the terrain. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, I was just. Yeah, okay. I gotta. Bye. This. Um, right. Five devices. Medium jet boosters. Standard shield generators. Cockpits armored. Okay. Laser turrets. Rocket launchers. Guided cannons. Shields. Jet thrusters. Medium jet thrusters. And mediums. Armored cockpits. medium jet boosters and standard shield generators did i just literally do that there's the standard medium jet though oh that one thruster and booster two separate things two factory oh not far off at all copper cobalt in fact probably got all of that Although the copper, yeah, probably going to break the bank on that. 900, so I need about 600 copper and only 300. Okay, we'll hold on that then. I'll um, I'll see if I can get the constructor actually working on some ammo for it at least anyway. Some SV rockets, please. Output 6, so we make 600. Thank you very much. Okay, in the meantime then, diggity, you're going to have to do something that you're not comfortable doing. And that is become an offensive tool. Bahaha. Have you got any plans to make any more reforging two ships? Oh yeah. Absolutely. But probably not until I'm ready to start a reforging two let's play. Um there's gonna go my own beta two, but I'm still gonna be very much into this thing for a while. Probably well into reforging two's beta. Um could imagine it'll be ready for a let's play around mid to late beta period. It depends how long uh, Rebian pu pushes it, really. That little... Have you got... Uh, well, designing for Reforged 2 will be a necessity, not an option. Yeah, Matt, you're quite right. Are you going to make Space Station from Blueprint or by hand? I was planning to make the base from hand. I haven't decided yet whether to do Space Station or uh, ground-based things yet. i got to be honest. That is way more armed than I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be pretty lightly defended, I've got to be honest. Can I get underneath these guns? We got a cannon drone. Oh, that was close. Right. Can you focus on the Xerox ground troops that are shooting you in the ass? Oh, turrets, turrets. Turrets, why do you do this? Oh my god. Right, you guys. You. Where's that drone? Easy. There it is. Eighty-five percent diggity. You're fine. You're doing great. You're doing great. Keep it up. We're going to eat through all your ammo, but it's fine. I'll just replace it. You carry on doing what you do. This thing hasn't got shields anyway, is it? Right. Is there such a thing as a front door in this thing? Kill Xerox mission. Thank you. Appreciate the reminders. You guys are awesome. Sort of thing. It's the sort of thing I see in my comment section all the time. Could have activated your kill mission. But I didn't, did I? Because I forgot. I always forget. Damn it, I haven't got any ammo for this anymore. Fine, you guys get the extra special two for one C4 charges. Congratulations. Ow! Bastards. No demo burn though, according to Erwin. Does that make a door? No, but this does. Ho ho ho! Penetrated. Sup. Sup, 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 sup. 
I see you're harvesting green pools of goop. If they had a brain, they'd be dangerous, wouldn't they? Alright. Hi! Let's shut this place down, pronto. Not allowed? Shit. Does that mean I have to blow it up, or is there a switchy switch? I didn't see any switchy switches. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to blow it up, aren't I? Alright. Blow it up it is. Where's the fucking core? Hi. Rise. Do you see? You're like half a bullet into me and you caused a freaking bleeding wound, you bastard. You look, come on. <laughs> Thanks, John. Bastard. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! Kapla! Platinum! More Kaplarage. Hey, uh, you can stop now, diggity. Yay. My generators. <laughs> hey, nice. Some hacking software as well. Excellent. Well, that was quick, quick and dirty, that was. Okay, it was not played very well. Oh my god. Window cleaner. <laughs> Break it out here. Uh... Alright, lots of loot, lots of boxes. Other than sponge having to throw out a rock wrapped with a rope tied to a ship to make it stop, it seems to be doing pretty well. <laughs> yeah. The old brakes. The brakes are a bit sucky at the moment, guys. It's so random you sat here, like, everything's fine. And then a freaking sponge on a stick starts attacking your window. <laughs> Freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. 
Oh, what is up there? Do you think there's anything up here? Oh, it's just goop. It's a big pool of goopy goops. Xeno material, though. I mean, that is going to be useful eventually. Give me goop. Pour and connect. Can't put a core in POIs, dudes. I don't know. I brought my salvage core with me. It's very really useful for um, patrol vessels, really. It's the only thing you can use them in, really. Give me your giblets. Giblets. Yeah. Yeah, so um, POIs on our server, they're set to regenerate, which on my server they are. Um, and the reason for that is that if they weren't, then, then the server would run out of POIs very quickly. You can imagine if you're like the, uh, the, the 10th person to start on a starter planet, and the immediate area is completely devoid of all POIs because people have already taken them, um, you know, salvaged them, claimed them, whatever. And then within a few days, all the POIs on that planet are gone. With a few more days, all the POIs in orbit have gone. And on the moon have gone. And so on and so forth. And it will just spread. Eventually, you'll have people starting on a planet and just won't be able to get off the planet because there's just no resources left. So you have to regenerate the POIs. Unfortunately. It's one of the other reasons we wipe our starter planets. Um every month as well because the surface rocks and trees do not regenerate automatically so you can wipe them without wiping the entire planet but we we figure it's just best because then the deposits reset the terrain resets the pois reset everything resets with a full wipe you know so yeah it just means that there's some limitations in gameplay then it's just such a shame but i don't really see a, a good way of doing it really if you let people blame regenerating POIs then you get people complaining that their their bases essentially reset the Xerax or pirate or whatever they were when they took them suddenly they log in and the POI is completely back to normal and it's like I'm surrounded by soldiers pointing guns at me what the hell uh, so yeah some more ammo which is nice small arms that misc for the money and for the hacking software B and D A and B diggity thank you very much once again you're a very good POI raider diggity I know that's not your intention <laughs> you're small enough to get under guns it's quite good really uh right now then we did stop off this planet for just the mission but we managed to get some tungsten out of it and a cheeky little poi not bad eh now there is a rados missile silo over there so i'm not going to go anywhere near that because that's going to start lobbing missiles at me um, and plus it's shielded, so and I've got nothing really that's capable of downing shields before they down mine. Is that a silver deposit? Shut the front door. That is. It's a fucking silver deposit. <laughs> this is a starting zone, dudes. How is the silver in the starting systems? I'm okay with it. I'm nabbing some silver. Wow. I wonder if anybody else has nabbed it. There'd be a giant hole in the ground if they have. Oh my god, I can't see. Hang on. I'm not seeing a giant hole in the ground. It's difficult to tell from out here. Go and have a look. There is one woman with a little silver on the starter systems. Ah, I didn't know that. I assumed 
always assumed it was something that happened. Ah, uh, ah, uh, look. Hole. Diggy, diggy hole. It might not be all gone, though, because that looks like a on-foot kind of hole. That looks like a hole somebody made on foot. I'm seeing shiny. Oh yeah. There's so much silver here. Wait, see, silver regens, doesn't it? Because it's technically a POI. I forget. Harvest. 3,000 silver. Silver has a really bad conversion ratio, though. So you're like, oh, 3,000 silver, well, that's amazing. Like 50 to 1 or something like crazy like that. Not good. Perfect. Good blurpage. You're gonna get it all. Gonna nab it all. Need to hit an ice droid for the water. Good point. Yeah, I mean I got some water uh, containers already from the the water extractor I had. So it should be good for a while. That was decent, though. This moon is really uh, paying off, huh? Well, I'll get the uh, constructor working on that as well. <laughs> is that? Because it's got such a poor conversion ratio. You've got a lot of weight there when you convert it into ingots. Oh, it's done. It's done, the uh, tungsten. Lovely. Right, get working on the silver then, please, boss. Silver Welcome powder, aboard. I think, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I need to transfer it into the... Um... Yep, input box. Um, Nelson, TBA, thank you very much for the 37 months resub. Very much appreciated. And Dacon B, thank you for the follow. Welcome along. We're doing well enjoying the mining 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 stream yeah so 500 ore to 10 in 10 powder basically that's the conversion rate it will not take a long lot of time to get through that 6,000 or so but it will save a lot of weight as a result all right banjo i know you set your flight controls up a certain way how do you do it uh, they are the default controls the only controls that I change are the block rotation controls. So the axis rotation and block rotation controls I set to my mouse thumb buttons. But my flight controls, QE, WASD. Oh, um, I think I set crouch to C over control, but I think that's standard anyway. Man. Get out of that satium. Mm. Delicious. This thing is crazy on a friggin' star moon. Absolutely crazy. Let's have a quick look around on the rest of the planet then. See what else it's got. Anything else to offer here? It's a little unique and fun. Chemix Industrial Polaris. Alright. That sounds like a special POI 
one of the tradey uh, POIs, I mean. There's a drone base over there. Level 3, 100% shield. Right, let's have a little look see down here. What are these Polaris scumbags trading? Crap. Overshot. This is my brakes. My brakes suck. And so does my side strafe. Nine meters a second sideways. <laughs> Come on! You can do it! Plonk. <laughs> Might be an alien fortress somewhere. That thing is a loot pinata. Uh, maybe. Alien outpost. That thing is covered in guns. I don't want to go any near it. That just looked terrifying. Well, scurry. Aluminium. Aluminium. I think we got some aluminium. 382 powder. 97 ore. We should be good for aluminium for a while then. I don't think we need to pick any more of that up. Make you, uh, DJ Straylight. Appreciates. Very, 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 very Star Trek inspired. Can't take all the credit. Gene Roddenberry had something to do with it. Ah! Right. Welcome aboard. Hello. I'm not enemies with you yet, but I will be one day. <laughs> Where is the dude person, dude trader, dude person? There he is. Hi. MX. Welcome. Sorry, but we're currently not in any shape to handle industrial personal orders right now. We've got a burst tank, leaking pipes, and the main production line is completely out of order. I hear guns firing. But the ship will be fine. It can provide the necessary parts. What do you need? Get me the supplies, and then we might be able to do something about it. 80 bottles of nitrogen. Transport booster. Currently a shortage of nitrogen everywhere. The only place you better find it is gas refining. You're seeing gas harvesters. It'll be expensive from anywhere but a gas harvester. But I'll try and cover the costs. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't have transport boosts or... <laughs> I had to flip it out, sorry. Or um, nitrogen, of course. Is it broken? You guys need to do better maintenance around here, huh? All right, let a little look-see around the loot potential. So what do they give? What do they give? What do they give as a result when you when you unlock them? Because all these um, special POIs, you, uh, you do their little funny mission, and then they unlock a special amount of tradey options, which, you know, as a bad guy, is going to become infinitely harder to... Um, I get these kind of materials. I think filters and obviously chemicals. Okay, good. I've just spotted a problem. Texture problem. A texturing problem that must be addressed. Interessant. Oh yeah, I see. There and there. That's okay. That's acceptable. Because um, you know, for blocks like the landing gears and stuff, you take you can't texture all sides. It textures the whole block. One thing. Which is a shame, but now we know. Hit me up with another dining stew royale. Right, ingredients. We get. To Pick our farm for the first time. Oh, then the mushrooms are still growing. Everything else is good, though. And the pumpkins are still going as well. All good. Uh, food processor. There you are. Didn't you do ration packs yet? Yeah. Amazing. Make lo loads of those, please. Yes. Okay. 
We're going to buy coolant. Oof. This is the one thing that's going to be really hard getting those advanced materials without a relationship with Polaris. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, we were looking for uh, see if there was an alien fortress on this planet, weren't we? Well, the old ping of the old detector here would suggest uh, negative. Although, look what just popped up. A purple. Purpley purple. Down here. The lyrical purple purple. Scene pink. Easy stew. Stay calm. Alien fortress. Approaching Xerox drone base. Oh, he's fine. Hang on. Oh my god, my brakes are so bad. Alright. What does that thing look like? Not rendering in. There it is. I'm guessing with the name Fortress <laughs> that it's probably uh, Hover, you bugger. Hover. No. Hover. No. Oh. Hovering! Nice. I mean, yeah, I'm guessing with the name Fortress, it's probably not particularly uh, fun. Holy shit! <laughs> That's redonkulous. That's one of those get underneath the gun things, isn't it? You just gotta get in underneath it. Right? And that's assuming you can't even get underneath it, right? I think so. It looks like it's raised up. There might be guns underneath that I can't see from this angle. That base go brr. <laughs> right? <laughs> laser brr. Looks like all lasers. And those, though, those little green thingies are legacy disruptors. Would you like some building with your guns? Yeah, right? <laughs> That's mental. Funny. Right, what have we got on me? Nothing particularly valuable. this part of the moon the Dead Sea because everything around it is dead oh dead Dave I'm just staying here for a second just because I made sure I'm 540 meters away I'm just making sure that there isn't like the delay in the turrets sometimes it takes the turrets a while to realize there's something in range and then they open fire, you know? Okay, I think we're okay. So, let's have another look from this angle. And also, the other thing that the turrets do is that they, they don't lock onto ships, like from range, but they'll lock onto you. So there is a turret down there. Looks like some sentries down there as well, maybe. That turret down there looks like it's on the other side, perhaps, or underneath. We won't know until we actually get, like, right up to it. But I think... I think this uh, might be a perfect job for a teeny tiny little boat. <laughs> Make sure actually. Nine hundred hit points. 
E. Whoa. Hey, come on. Pick up a little bit more gat armor. Thing's got no shields, by the way. Just so you guys know what I'm about to do. Is probably stupid. Out of gat ammo on that, right? Humbug. You got, uh, sorry, diggity. Ammo. Ammo. Oh my god. I'll do. Oh shitting hell! Nailed it. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it. Look at that freaking humbug. Such a. <laughs> I'm like driving a plastic tank. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Take that off now. Oh, hi. 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 Um, hello. 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 Yeah, hello, everybody. Run, 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 run. <laughs> okay, this is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Hang on, I got an idea. You got an idea. Hi, can you look over here, please? Yeah, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. La 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 la. la. Oh, wait. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Fuck. Yeah. Can you? Oh, this is problematic. Oh, that's very problematic. Hi. Jesus. Which way to the core? We need to end this thing now. Also, that's a turret right there, isn't it? All the cooties, I know. I'm just gonna watch my health freaking plummet. Mr. Sponge is on the menu, boys. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. Yeah, freaking ticking clock here. I'm about to die of all the alien cuties. loot later. I might actually check these things for uh, meds though. <laughs> Laser minigun. I'll take that. Holy shit. Yas. Right. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Laser Rifle. You've been wonderful. <laughs> Marvellous. Uh, lots of beer. Health nanite injector. I'll consume one of those now. I need medicines, medicines. Come on, man. Okay, where does that lead? That looks like it leads to a freaking gun. Does that lead outside? Yes, it does. I don't like that door. That door can piss off. Right, where is the core? Uh, hello, loot box, my old friend. Hi. <laughs> Bastards. Oh, that's evil. That was evil. 
Only 28 rounds left in this thing. Um, I haven't got any rockets, so I may as well replace a rocket launcher, right? One bandage left. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a giant version of it. It's fine. It's fine. It's just a regular dickhead. Dickheads! Dickheads everywhere! No, oh, I've already got all the cuties. Jokes on you. No! You can't give me more chlamydia. I'm sorry. Not how it works. Fucking hell, I'm gonna die here. I need to get this core down. Where is it? It wouldn't be in here. This is a freaking garden. I'm going to guess it's behind that turret that we saw, isn't it? Oh, my God. Hi. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cure for cooties? No. No cure for cooties in there. Okay, so it is, it's in here. Hi. Uh, there are two guns in here. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All the dickheads are in here as well, with a thousand spawners. Oh dear. Where did you go? Got him. Hi, all the sentry guns. That looks like you'd fly in here. Oh, shit. There it is. Look, yeah. Okay. How the F am I going to get in there? Does this thing damage this? It looks like it. it. Might do, actually. 96. 70. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to die. I don't want to die of space cooties. Ah! Nailed it. Note to everyone. I am a fucking god. Bye. <laughs> the hamburger is also a little freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Gibbs, 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 Gibbs. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn the thrusters off. Whoops. God, no. Very lucky. Ah, how's that luck? It was pure skill. Pure skill. Pure. 100% awesome. Not even concentrate. Pure. Natural. Organic. Farm made from a family run business in the countryside. Picked by. Freaking orphans. Yeah? Levels of skill. Playing his current series live, yep. Yeah. Quite the puddle pile that was, wasn't it? Right. Oh yeah, 5.1 rounds. Good point. Two. There's the radiation. Funny, isn't it? You don't get it when you're at two. As soon as you hit one, it's like triggers. There we go. Woo! That was fun. Uh, right. We need some... We need some ammo. <laughs> right, I thought the minigun used the... Oh, it uses Type A. Of course it does. Yes. Maybe some Type A. Um, oh, 10 will do. Right, well, no, give me, give me 20. 20 in the ammo controller, please. Play bay laser, yeah. They're quite heavy, though, is the only thing. Uh, laser rifle charges. We ditched the rocket launcher. Oh, yeah, it's really useful against sentries in some POIs, though, isn't it? I need to make some more rockets for it.
do for a little while. And you can make me some bandages. Need carbon substrate in there, and then I can make health packs. Oh, no, not even those. Make those. Yeah, make those. They're even better. <laughs> okay. Let's get out there and loot. This is the incorrect door. I find the grenade launcher wildly underwhelming. That is a lot of turrets. Crap, my jetpack ran out. Oh my god, there's even more loot containers. Alright. Tenacious. Harvest controller. Stuff. Stuff. More. Stuff. Stuff. Well. Stuff. Ah. Yeah, nice. Very nice. There we go. And then, of course, there's all these bad boys. And they just give me player sentry guns. Oh, yeah. The hell was up there? I don't know. I need to make myself some uh, C4. Thankfully, the loot containers had the mandatory force fields. <laughs> <laughs> they did, didn't they? <laughs> Lots of juicy stuff from these, though. This is going to really help in making another uh, large extender. Very, very nice. I actually see now that we have the resources that we got, although we need to go find some gold, I think. Hey, Bill and Amanda, thank you very much for $2, two streams today. Yes, yeah, so I'll be back with the Chaos Crew with some Satisfactory later on. Very, very chill game. It is the chillest the Chaos crew has ever been. It's in Satisfactory. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, such a nice game, though. I don't know what we're doing. We need to get like our transport network actually up and running. Now that's a nice amount of salvage from those turrets. Yeah, I know, right? That is some juice. That is some juicy juice. Imagine what you'd get if you could core this place, you know? Yeah, if you take these whole blocks off, I haven't picked one up yet, but I think they give you uh, laser base turrets. Player laser base turrets. Which are obviously, you know, deconstructed very nicely. End of century turrets, jeez. Oh, more loot boxes, though. This tier, look. Juice. Normally chill until disagreements about how things to be laid out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was pretty much the entirety of the last stream was just me and Blighted generally kind of debating, arguing on, on where things go or should go. We've got um, quite a lot of work ahead of us, really. Nothing underneath. Very nice. You know, um, it's quite quite crazy. You can actually do that with 
so early on in the game, really, and get so much loot. Uh, so that's our harvest controller. We put the input on that, and then we've got a sort by item type, and generally makes things easier. 204 computers, eight fluxes, nine power coils, six large, small upgrade kit. That's going to be very handy for a certain little tank. And there we go. The rest is kind of sortable later. Let's see. Can we construct and now make another improved CPU extension here for the Tenacious? If so, we can get the, the, the upgraded thrusters on and we can finally have brakes. Yes, we can. Boom. <laughs> let's get uh, let's get some thrusters on the go as well then two more of these and we need a bunch of mediums so I can't remember how many exactly off the top of my head so all the side thrusters need to be replaced they're all smalls at the moment so that's eight um, and the down thrust as well that's another eight so we need 16 16 mediums. Have we got any mediums in here at the moment? I don't think we do. No. Cool. Hopefully that'll be able to make that. Um, and we're going to get the thrust to full power. We will need a small generator as well, though. Actually, thinking about it. We need to increase our power generation just a smidge more. It will work fine with the four, but if you're charging shields and using all thrusters, there is a risk that you will go over 100% power usage. So the small generator was just there. I think it was like it went up to, to 104 or 105 during testing. The small generator just means that you don't nip over that 100% power usage. There we go, that's the whole moon. Crashed Sanctorium Side Tracker. What is a what? <laughs> Sanctorium. Is that even a... Is that a ship or... It's a ship of something. I've never heard of it. This moon, though, is really... Uh, I hear that. Really... Been unexpected. Looks like someone's dug around it already. They've probably dug the whole thing out. So if I remove one block, the whole thing is going to collapse, I think. Have a little look. Got sidetracked. Yeah, super squirrel moment. So that is... Um, we go on to the... That's some ammo for the laser minigun, laser rifle and laser pistol. We need some meds in the meds box. That's being worked on. There we go, 26 bandages. That'll help. One regeneration kit. I hope that's not all it can make. But it's possible those regen kits are pretty expensive. Got a cannon turret on this thing. And underneath it, by the look of it. Looks like whoever would dug this out knew exactly where to go. There's thrusters here. Not bad. Can I... Yep. There's a warp drive there, I think, but... Look a bit. Boom. Warp drive. Not bad for a... For a crashed ship. I have a warp drive. You've inspired me to start looking at Reforging 2. You've been putting around, putting around in it a bit. So hyped for it to be running on servers. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about getting a, a test server set up um, for patrons and stuff. Play around with it because, I mean, I know that Revian and Vermillion will definitely want it tested on servers uh, soon. So we'll have that running. But the thing is, with test servers is they, they generally they get wiped a lot. 
frequently and stuff like that. Um, but what, we've done things in the past where we've just given people sort of god rights on a server, but the difficulty is that people tend to sort of abuse it. But on a test server that's getting wiped often, sometimes that's just, it's worth a bit of hassle just so people can actually test um, the game without spending so much time grinding, you know? They can actually get to the mid game between wipes, they can actually get to the end game or get back to the end game after a wipe really easily if that's where they were. And for the few people that abuse it, well, we'll deal with them as best we can. Just one of those things. Funny little ship, isn't it? A funny little boat. There we go. Another thruster. Yeah, exactly. It's a cool shape. I like the uh, the overall shaping of this thing, the asymmetry of it. Very neat. Oh, somebody just joined the server. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> it's almost like an announcement. There we go. Oh, and then another push to there. Very cool looking, cool looking wreck. I fixed that one up as a first CV a couple of times on Star Savage. Nice. Yeah, if I'd seen, if I'd found that one on Star Savage, I probably would have um, would have used it. Very unique design. Right. Now I think we're done here. <laughs> Beta eight, and then the asteroid field. And by then, hopefully, the um, the extender and stuff will be done, and we can upgrade the ship to its full thrust potential. Still got its weapons potential after that, and its mining potential. But yeah, all right. Wrong thingy, beta eight. Oh, there it is. I was like, I'm being mad. Ice asteroid. We're okay for water at the moment. I think we've got like 400 containers of water in the input box. 500 even. Oh, hello. There's a legacy something or other over there. Let's go ahead and get the mission complete anyway. So beta 8, if I'm not mistaken, is a barren metal planet. Oh, it's just barren. Sathium, Pentax, deposits. Okay. Barren planets and Reforged Eden are hot. Seriously hot. No. I really enjoyed Star Savage. It's a shame it hasn't been updated recently. Oh, is that a cold barren, is it? Okay. Well, that's okay then. In an orbit, we have iron, silicon, copper, copper, cobalt, promethean, and ice. Old has a lot of POIs. Okay. Going in. Condition blue, prepare for atmospheric thrust. Straight away with an advanced uh, power station. 
can't remember what Sathium totals do we have at the moment. 322 Sathium. Better off stopping at a Sathium asteroid. Oh, it's a big planet as well. Unknown artifact. That might be... Um... Oh, I don't know. It might be... I was thinking maybe it's magma site because it's in a hot patch, but possibly not. There it is. Let's go see what uh, is going on up there. What are the legacy doing here? A brood. Welcome along, dude. Welcome to the server. <clears throat> Adio, have you found any gold for making more extenders? I haven't found any gold, uh, but I found enough um, small bridges and matrices and other supplies that it's able to actually make them anyway. Let's see where the constructor is with it. Shut up, is it done? Really? Two large thrusters, one medium thruster. And there's our medium extender. Well, I did order a lot more than just one medium thruster, so something's gotten in the way here, isn't it? Flux coils. Derelict ship. Ow! Yeah. I know what derelict ship that is. It's the little marinin. Right, so flux coils. Does that mean we're at a Neo? 36 Neo, yep. Because we still got a rest from Zocosium. Flux, I think, is... Um... Nah, I can't remember what it is, flux coils. Fluxy boys. Titanium, Neo, Cobalt and Copper. Titanium, 400... Copper 2800, Cobalt 5600. So, okay. We need to do a stop off a Neo then. Really like an asteroid. Cobalt. Cobalt. Well, we have to go to the asteroid field anyway. That's asteroid field 2. I think we have to go to 1. One doesn't have it, but it has titanium. Okay. Oh, we could do the El Marinum, but we've done it a thousand times before. Not bad. Kind of a bit stingy on loot now. Takes a lot of time. Dehydrated. Yeah. Gotta hydrate. The period has such banger music. It's got some really good tracks on it. It really does. Right. Neo asteroid straight away. Okay. <laughs> Come about. <laughs> Brilliant. I think the colonist dreadnought, the Titan, has two quants. Severus have two quants, don't they? What's easier? Uh, do you have admin on the finer settings AS admin like the percent threshold on respawns or is it still tied to the core mod oh it's still tied to the core mod we made some minor modifications to the scenario settings but nothing nothing like that break Break. Uh. <laughs> Skim the paint. I mean, talking of breaking, are you going to stop anytime soon? You. Yeah. Um, we can at least get our devices. New CPU extender and large thrusters in play.
There we go. Did we get the small generator as well? Yeah, we did. Okay, let's chuck that in as well. So what's that done, CPU-wise? We now have 850 potential CPU. We should really be able to upgrade our guns now, and also more lasers as well. Um, oh, I just turned the shields back on, didn't I? So, in order to build more mining lasers for CV, I think we need more advanced upgrade kits. Power coils as well. Power coils are flux coils, yeah. All right, let's mine some Neo then. Whenever you're ready. I'm getting close enough. What was taking so long? There we go. Well, now we have some stopping power, guys. Once I get the Neo, I can get more medium thrusters and we can actually get some um, lateral thrust. Ding, ding, winner. Large roid, is it? <laughs> Titanic moment. As much as a large planetary uh, deposit and you don't have to deal with gravity. Nice. That's juice. That is very juicy. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Right, let's get this processing. So the small constructor is still working on copper and iron. 3,000 and 4,000 respectively. So we'll have to get the big constructor working on it, I think. So that's input. Harvest. There's the Neo Ore. There's 41 flux coils in my... <laughs> There's 41 flux coils in my harvest box. You saw nothing. <laughs> yeah, we saw nothing. Okay, you might have saw something. Um, here we go. as well sweet okay so advanced constructor can you now make me how many you built one medium thruster what did i say i needed 16 yeah so we need 15 medium thrusters all right crack on Yeah, oops. Oh yeah, it's bad. It's totally not a Star Trek ship. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I admit, it, it got a bit trekky, right? It got a little trekky. Not a bad thing. motors in your harvest box as well is that oh did i not put them across good spot well done guys yep 
You know, a very nice amount of Neo out of this. You might lateral thrust 10 meters a second at the moment. Garbage! Not for long. Yeah, soon it'll be 12 meters per second. <laughs> Chip design is all fine and dandy as long as you don't get a cease and desist letter for CDS. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'll uh, even be aware of my existence, to be honest. But we'll see, I guess. I am mining the crack right now. Look at that. It's very crack like, isn't it? Dig that crack. Real shame about the color of the ore as well. Good old Neo. We'll be done with that for a while. Pop them cheeks. <laughs> Gotta make mining interesting somehow, right guys? There's way more than one Trek ship in the workshop. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, Jay, Jay's been doing... He's done a quite a few Trek ships, hasn't he? He did some beautiful Trek ships. I mean, of course he did. It's, it's Jay Randall, right? But... Here we go. One Neoroid. Done. So, titanium. Um, none here. But the other asteroid field has some. Uh, but that is the mission done, isn't it? I think. Yeah, we need to speak to the captain of the UCH ship. So we may as well go via UCH then. Seems as the other asteroid field is across the way. Here we go, get our reward. Uh, yeah, there is. I, I turned them on. Uh, I turned them on, Watson. Did you not see? Solar at the UCH spot would be killer. It's a shame that only one of the suns actually applies solar energy. The other sun is entirely decorative. Now, there is no way to know which sun is the better one, or the correct one, but I would surmise it would probably be just beta rather than beta B. That's probably the original sun, and that's the one that you'd want to point your solar panels at. Yeah, this is, I, I, Revian told me, um, and we were talking about the, the multi-suns, and I think he just sort of casually dropped that only one sun actually gives solar. <laughs> hey, Matt, good suggestion. Love that. This doesn't take eight quants to turn it on. Yep, true. Eight quants. Damn. That's heavy. That's a lot of quants for a Star Trek ship, right? Whichever one is the center, yeah, is the main sun. So yeah, it is beta. That's the only one that gives any solar output. Where is this freaking UCH ship? There it is. Ah, yes. <laughs> My cult! <laughs> Uh, in my opinion, the Voyager is my favorite ship design, but the new gen is my favorite series. Is that, um... With Captain Pike? I can't remember what that bloody... Strange New Worlds. I really enjoyed Strange New Worlds. Can't wait for the next series. I really enjoyed that series. It was really good. I love the crossover with Lower Decks as well. <laughs> Such good fan service. But yeah.
who made that giant sign now that would be a, a, a guy known locally as John I assume it was Don actually I don't actually know but it's a it's got PSC faction on it which is the pit stop crew so as he is the boss of the crew <laughs> it makes sense that it was done um, right have I got anything on me or need to take with me for UCH got two lots of music going on this uh, bloody shit bugs me really bugs me I don't think so misc box they don't have an ATM on the board do they basic battery construction okay cool yeah, that log. Oh, yeah, the log. Yep. yep. Forget. Again. Hi. Let's go talk to the captain. Wee. Did somebody's open the door to engineering? Sneaking about. Yes, you represent. Hey, Jiggles. <laughs> represent. Uh, the captain I'm supposed to go to. Need to check if to see if there's a Firefly class ship available. Brown coats unite. Firefly is a very difficult design to get right in Imperion. This is the big round butt, but uh, it might be possible. You make it big enough, it would be way bigger than the real Firefly. I suppose, imagine. All right, turn in survey. There we go. Lovely. That gets us. Um, auto minor cause on the trotting. Let's get that over there. So we could pick up the uh, pentaxid and more pentaxid. There we go. Okay, tenacious. Start po putting posters around our ship now as well. So, um, yeah, I don't think she has any more missions. There is, if you visit every. Uh, starter system, so Alpha, Beta, Delta, Epsilon, and Rogue, and do the the survey mission on every single one. I don't think Rogue counts, actually. I don't think there is a UCH ship in Rogue sector, is there? No, there isn't. Uh, but yeah, if you're doing them in, is the survey in the other ones, and then uh, if you get all four reports in inventory and then go talk to a captain... You get a very nice special reward. Takes a long time to do. Welcome. Goodbye. Doodles. Alphabet Dell, Epsilon, yeah. Um, don't need to do any research. So. Hi. So, use maintenance access card 12B to unlock. And this one is 12A. Right. The rogue has the object at your two quest line yet. Wait, right. Uh, I remember correctly. Other side. And don't forget, on a UCH ship, all those boxes are all lootable. Everything. You don't get any kind of um, penalties for, for looting these things. Gerald was here. Appears to be an access card contained within this data pad. The 12A access card. Gerald was smegging about on UCH ships. Hiding in ventilation shafts, leaving maintenance accesses open, and then leaving his bloody cards about. Sounds like something Gerald would do. Someone's not long been here then. These are all empty already. So 12A was this one. There we go. Catherine Janeway is the captain of the Voyager, played by Kate Mulgrew, more of a side series, but they were loyal to the OG work, in my opinion. 
some titanium, lovely. And Gerald's partially corrupted log, lovely. What a goit. What an absolute goit. So the question is, can you get all the logs from the trade the uh, starting systems? This is like four logs, I think, isn't there? So I'll show you guys. There's 12 a 12 b back there. There's also up the front here. 12 C. We need three logs. There's Alpha, Beta, Delta, and Epsilon, I suppose. I don't know if it's the same log on all. Just use the teleporter to visit two ships. Yeah. You could use the teleporter, actually, couldn't you? That's a very good point. Hey, my dude! Alpha. You see, it says, I did a discovery, research visual. Teleport. Do you think Alpha has a different one? Or would it may not be 12A again? So are the logs in the same place? The warp room is finished? How did we not notice? I know, right? When did that happen? Logs are in the same place. Okay. Yeah, we're well. It gives you the card based on your progress. Ah, right. Either we had to find three separate logs in three different locations. Big access card, 12B. I'm all upside down and turned around. Remember to mark your ship before you walk. I don't need to mark it. It's not a sun. It's at a UCH sector. Do that if you're at a sun. A partially corrupted log. And some ice. Cool. Literally. Right, and we go to Delta next. We take more UCH for quartermaster freebies. Yeah. Well, I mean, without the ship there, I don't want to do the freebies because they'll just fall on the floor. I won't be able to take them with me. Too heavy, I think. I get some of it, but yeah, after the first one, I'll be full. I recently went back to vanilla, but built a ship and holy cow, once you get used to reforge, it's very easy. I had a decent CB with 100 plus acceleration in every direction. Yep. And at that point, you know, I. I in vanilla, I was killing Zaviras with a with a hammerhead, you know. <laughs> Twelve C. Thing is, they they up the. Um, I remember when they first we were first talking about CPU with Elion. I did a whole live stream with um, with Elion about it, and there was so much like fear in the chat about not being able to build their massive ships. They were generally fearful that with CPU they wouldn't be able to have their big gigantic ships. So I know that the Elion basically made the CPU. Where's my first one? Wait, what? Why have I only got two on me? Picked up three, right? This is the last one. I don't understand what's going on. Okay. 
I, I picked them all up, guys, didn't I? Yeah, I've got to go backtrack, didn't we? Didn't you store the first one before warping? Can I put it in misc? Um, maybe I did. I go back to beta and find out. I thought I had them all on me. You connected to a container, it might have been actually. Yeah, I think it was. What was I connected to? Harvest, probably. There it is. Right. Partially corrupted log, perhaps finding more pieces of the log you can reconstruct it. How do I reconstruct it? What do I do now? Yeah, so, um, I mean, what I was saying is the the CPU was coming about. Everyone was scared that they wouldn't be able to build their big ships, so um, they basically made the, the CPU enormous, 10 million, um, and also the advanced core, which gets rid of CPU entirely, was all basically because everyone was shouting at them about CPU. But I remember right from the offset, I think they said, You'll be able to turn it off if you don't want to play with it on. You'll be able to turn it off. Or at least that was something that they, they enabled. Certainly after the stream or after the the, the, the backlash, anyway. Um, talk to guard by the teleporter. This guy. Hello, welcome. I found this on the ship. Ah, ha, ha. I knew it. We do have a stowaway. From your description of the room you found it in, it seems they are long gone now, though I wonder how this Gerald kept hidden from us. From what little I can make out from his log, Gerald has been going from research vessel to research vessel. Perhaps if you visit other research vessels, you should search for them and he's suspicious. But anything suspicious as well, if you find enough logs we can reconstruct it. Are three logs enough? Mm, let me see them. Hand over. Here we go. I've reconstructed a small part of the log. Seems it contained the access code to the cargo container we've been trying to open. How lucky. There, I've copied the access code to the new keycard. That should open the container, but I don't know where it's been moved to. It should be somewhere on the ship. You can keep whatever stuff you find inside. Thanks. That's lovely. Um, <laughs> what cargo container do you think that is? Loot them all! Armory, huh? That one. Unlock using Gerald's keycard. Whoa! Whoa! Bridges 10 platinum cards. Serious. Yeah. Log 4E7. Today I arrived on a UCH research vessel. I snuck in via the rear hangar and made my way to engineering. As it was the middle of the night, ship time, there were a few personnel on duty and I was able to sneak into a maintenance shaft. This will be home for now while I plot my revenge. Revenge? I had to leave this last research vessel as the Terran scum were getting suspicious. I found a new place to hide in another maintenance section. I'll have my revenge on my former captain. What? Yet again, I had to move, but this time I found a nice spacious room next to the air filtration system. Good news. It's... is it... is it still nice and cool here? Though the fans are a little noisy. Now I can work on my piece on plotting my revenge. What? Why is he... Hmm. I was nothing but delightful to Gerald the entire time that he served under me, okay? He was the pain in the ass. And the amount of times I fucking rescued him as well. What a dick. What a dick. Of course I was mean to him. He was an idiot. He'd get himself freaking captured and into ridiculous gambling debt. Yeah. Ended up on syndicate bases. He ended up on pirate bases. He was captured by the Xerax. What a butthole. 
Now he wants revenge on me. What for? Bailing him out? Dick. <laughs> what revenge he's going to get. <laughs> Laughable. Laughable, I say. Um, Frosty Snipe, thank you for the follow. Welcome along. Time to find an ATM. I know, we've got a bit of stuff on us, haven't we? Uh, right. Some bits and bobs there. Oh, I do have that now. That's nice. Small arms. We're going to get so many guns here. It's a bit ridiculous. Armor and boosts. Locks and devices. And ammunition. There we go. The harvest controller is empty. Yay! Right. So... We are pretty much done with this area then. Now we got the infected, which we've done a million times before. It does lead to an amazing mission, an amazing POI. Lost Worlds uh, leads to Maveth, which is great. And the K star cluster. Science and research is sort of an ongoing thing. Survey beta and habitable systems is another one that gives us nav data very useful to do by its probe so we're going to activate that one proceed to g type stars before you head off into deep space we need to make sure long range communications please hold on while we calibrate it right right banj has a nemesis now <laughs> gerald gerald's idea of revenge ratting you out to the SES. <laughs> yeah in my scenario you can craft a version of the advanced core still works like a core so you better know which kit to lace it on also added SV furniture so you can sleep, shower, and potty in the SV. So that's quite a cool idea. I like that, Brendan. Um, can Gerald breed in a vacuum? <laughs> Have you picked your class yet? Yes, do. I am an agent. I am specializing in pistols. Pew pew. So hopefully I can get the DC-17, but I'm already using the uh, the nice fancy laser pistol, the LS-38 there. Um, it was Starhawk as well. I think the Starhawk. If I can get a nice Starhawk pistol, I think that might be my like, signature gun. <laughs> That's the one I want to use. Right, we're ready to go. Bye-bye, Beta. Starter systems, you are done. I am out. I am gone. I am going. I am nearly gone. I'm looking for somewhere to go. Okay, so we need to survey G-type suns, and we're heading in the general direction of the far voids because they are a giant, delicious loot pinyard waiting to happen. They really are. All right. Doodles! <laughs> hey, Red-Eyed Sniper, thank you for gifting a membership. So cool. Thank you very much, dude. Much appreciated. So when does this guy get entertaining? <laughs> I blighted. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Amazing. Right, we've got... Probes! I need to put them on my bar, I think. I need to probe my bar. There we go, probe my bar. Probe my bar. We're in a new system, guys, and... Oh, look at that. Is that... It's an ocean planet. Delightful. Uh, we probably do need to, like... Well, we definitely need to stock up on some sathium. I know that. So, as well, I've got orbital resources. Oh, yeah, there's some sathium in orbit there. Uh, be good to stop off and get some pentaxid as well. Should be all right for a while, but... Always good. Ocean planets are beautiful. A restroom on that one, but I think it's probably only one really small deposit. There's gold. Gold? Covered by napkin thief? In the year 2474. And there's Zescosium here as well. Jesus, this system's got everything. It's got a restroom and Zescosium. That is pretty rare, actually. It's got ice asteroids. Doesn't matter. You've got, a, you've got what, that swamp planet? Irradiated. 
barren. That swamp, this one. And snow, titanium on snow, look. Brilliant sector to set up on, right? You've got a barren planet right next to the sun, which is going to be a hot boy. Um, or the Polaris trade hub right next to the sun. So good solar. That's nice. That is a nice system. Darby De Beta. Delicious. Right, let's pop over here and get some Sathium. So Blighted is Gerald, right? IRL, right? <laughs> well, well, well. The plot thickens. Hello, police. I'd like to report shots fired. Hasn't been claimed system, then. Not as far as I'm aware. But it's managed from the correct side of the pond and therefore always insaning. Thank you, Storm Craig. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Emergency evasive fucking hell. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, man? What are you doing? There's a claimable asteroid, guys. Claimable asteroid in the system. I was just basically... Yeah, there's a Tavira here. <laughs> there's a Tavira there. I'm not claiming that one. Be on your guard. There are older and fouler things than orcs in the deep places of the world. Yeah, they're called Tavira class dreadnoughts. Initiate the GTFO maneuver. <laughs> now for Rath. Woo! Now for ruin. Thank you. Thank God I upgraded my reverse thrusters, right? <laughs> BSC inbound. And there's a Tavira. Oh man. Pentax. Wrecked gas harvester. Sathium asteroid is what I'm looking for. Off he goes. Giggles, are you genuinely inbound? As if you are, I'm going to watch that. Claimable. Another claimable asteroid. There's two claimable asteroids in this sector. This is a nice sector. There's an SV around here somewhere. Look at that. He's moving away from me. <laughs> Bubble and squeak. <laughs> What's wrong with Bubble and squeak? Bubble and squeak's amazing. You're going to be knocking on Bubble and squeak there, Blade. Legs it. Yeah, once they start pissing off everyone, uh, the Xerox will be friends, absolutely. Well, they're probably the pirates. There's a resupply station. That's an iron asteroid. Boring. Uh, just about finished the sector command, and uh, then can come poke the Tavira. Nice. Well, let me know when you're here. I'll thread that needle, guys. Woo. Abandoned pallet. I'll take it. Server restart? Ah, oh, God. Who runs this bloody server? Nonsense, I say. Really worried now. <laughs> Just like constantly checking over my shoulder. Yeah, where is it? Where is it? Yoink. Hey, play for fancy. Thank you for five dollars. That the Vera is afraid of you, Spanish. This is your chance to take it down. Yeah, I'm sure my four gats would do um Nothing to its shields. Absolutely nothing at all. It wouldn't even, it would just bounce off. It was nothing. It, yeah. <laughs> I'll send the diggity in. I'll do a boarding action. <laughs> I'll backdoor it with my drills. Yeah. It'll be fine. 
There it is, look. Megging about. Make a little smeggy, smeggy, smeg face. Right, let's check this asteroid here. I kind of wish there was a super cruise mode at times. Double speed, but no weapons, reduced shields, can't be used in combat type thing. There was talk of such a thing a while ago. And I don't think the current... Um, I don't think it's necessarily an engine thing. I don't think the current play field can handle that kind of speed. But yeah, I, I also desire such things. <laughs> Chachinus. <coughs> Jet was my good one. Hey, Dragon House, thank you for 34 months resub. Very nice, thank you, dude. Planet Raider. Hey, look, it's Oz. Oh, here we go then, guys. Wrecked cargo dock. Let's have a little... Let's see how the professionals do it. This is the pit stop crew. Oz is on site already. Okay, well, before we move any further, I'm going to top my pentaxid tank up because if I do get shot, I do not want to be caught running out of pentaxid. Um, you want to know too? Go. We need to get into visual. 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 They're within three kilometers. But I was maybe just waiting for the other guys in the PSC, to be honest. There it is. Oh, bloody hell, it's facing me. Alright, I can run away really easy now that I can go forwards or backwards at 100 meters a second. That <laughs> should be fine. Oh, right, because that swallowed all 400 of those. Base fireworks. And it begins. The Tavira's extremely long range uh, plasma artillery is opening up. There goes the um, EMP cruise missiles. Um, are you shooting at me now? <laughs> Back away. Back away slowly. Let's see. Tavira's got 49% shields. Those EMPs are doing nicely, but I think Oz is sitting at 85 at the moment. It's doing good. More EMPs. Those EMPs are knocking a huge chunk of shields off every time. 20% shields. Oh, shit. Yeah. I am taking hits. Is it 15? Oz is at 61%. All right, shields down. I guess Oz probably going to move in with some artillery cannons now. It looks like he's backing off maybe to get some extra shields back. Be careful though, because the dreadnoughts shield to recharge as well. I think they take a much longer to recharge. Oh, dodge! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, there you go, the artillery cannons. Difficult to appreciate the action in this range, isn't it? But if I get any closer, I start getting uh, plasma artillery that eat through my shields in seconds. 55% Oz. He's being very stationary. I think he's basically shooting straight down the front panel of the Dreadnought with his arty cannons. Ooh, that was a heavy direct hit. That probably hurt a bit. <laughs> he's at 
I back off. Yeah. Oh, I'm within two kilometers now. Poor AI Dreadnought got poor RNGs for two versus one. It, 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 it's not two versus one, I'm doing it. Oh, there's a shield to back up, Oz. Come on. Crack on. 51%. Seventeen. Oh, Oz has run into an asteroid field. He reversed himself into a literal brick wall. <laughs> Move to the sun side, yeah. Not much going on uh, that you can see from this angle. Oh boy, I'm getting a bit close. Oz is now face hugging the Tavira. They almost look like one ship right now. <laughs> but my guess is that he's chucking eight, eight or so. Artillery cannons straight through the middle of the ship right now. I don't like the face hug technique. One lag spike and you're glitched inside. Yeah. It's definitely risky. Um, Oz is at 42% shields. And it's dead. I think he killed it. Yeah, the Xerox tag is gone. It's not moving. Powered off. He is these guys you know exactly where the uh, the core is you know all yours if you want thank you Oz I appreciate that but I must refuse <laughs> a Tavira would be simply a far too great a uh, jump up in sudden resources and progression to, to make a satisfying series I'd literally be able to get an endgame ship instantly with just one of these things, so. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate the offer. I just came in to inspect the damage. Yeah, look at that. Like, surgery! Dang it, is it a railgun? Or is it... Oh, you have got the railgun! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the LX2 railgun. They're in the nose of Oz's ship there. Um, which is used to basically surgically cut through the center of the Tavira. That's impressive. Which probably means that the, the, the face hugging technique is probably the only one you could really do with that, because uh Yeah, look at that. That's precision. That's precision. That's where the core was. <laughs> he knew it to the he knew it to the exact block. Wow. Christ. The level, huh? Less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Killed a Zavira. Like a freaking surgeon, yeah. Got the heart out straight away. Very impressive, Oz. Thank you very much for that demonstration. Jiggles, you're too late as always. <laughs> but happy salvaging, guys. Enjoy. Thank you very much for that. I'm sure everybody enjoyed. I am off to find a Sathium asteroid. We do pay in Orcs uh, Core Finders fee. Oh, well, I'll take I'll take a brick If you want to send me some douche, I'll take some dosh. Yeah, definitely. I'll have that. <laughs> I'll have some dosh. 
Uh, just get Don to chuck it into my account from the uh, from EAH. Just uh, chuck that in my the usual account, guys. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just uh... <laughs> I'll definitely take that. But there we go. I mean, all sorts of freaking commerce going on on this server is amazing. Finders fee for Taveras. Love it. Thank you, guys. Happy salvaging. Right. Asteroid hunting. Dathium is up here somewhere. There we go. There's an asteroid over there. It's probably over there. Well, that was fun. Just double check. The moment of madness was like, there is actually Zadium in orbit around here, right? Like the seagulls from Finding Nemo, they see a quantum ship and they're immediately like, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Yeah, true. If they if they weren't, I was get willing to give me the entire ship just for like being here. It's uh, very very nice of them. Good solid takedown. Server reset when? Um, I think we got about fifteen minutes. So hopefully we can get a safety asteroid in that giblets. time. Giblets. Giblets. Okay. Promethean, that's not what I'm looking for. All right, there's more over there. there. There's like two more little SVs though, uh, and another asteroid down there. Asteroid hunting is unfortunately is so hit and miss. Like sometimes you can warp into a system and it's like bam, there's the asteroid you want. And then other times you're spending 10, 20, 30 minutes, maybe more just scouring a freaking orbit for asteroids. I want to get that advanced detector really helps the big dish. You know, that really does help speed things up. Not sure where he put that, but... Um, I can probably put it underneath, actually. It'll probably fit under there. Yeah. By the front deflector. Leshan class freighter. I can't even see that. Where the f is that? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Iron. Lame. Cleaned up the neighborhood for your nose. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Thank you, Scala. Hey, Richard. Welcome along, buddy. Mmm, giblets. All the uh, asteroids in this sector. We've got the rest of the planet to go around. I just want one Sathium asteroid. This is where it might be quicker, possibly going down on the planet and finding a deposit. But it depends how your luck's running, really. I feel like I'm going slower than 100, but this is top speed. Copper? What the hell is going on? The one Satium asteroid in this entire orbit, and it's like off over there somewhere, probably. These Satium asteroids are kind of rare, aren't they? Anyway, what else have we got in this system then? That's a asteroid field, but it's claimed by Polaris. Well, who cares? I could just mine it anyway. That's pirates. This is a mining site class one. There's probably random stuff there. We need a mining license for it or something. Actually make a bit of money off of that. Mine some special ores and then uh, sell them back to Polaris, I think. In the mining sites. But yeah, it looks like that's the only source of Satium, uh, certainly in orbit. There's Satium on this planet as well. well. That is a hot baron, I think. Could be wrong. Revolution back wreck. Pentax, another asteroid out there. Hang on. Wait, that's not an asteroid, that's a ship. Wait, uh, that's an asteroid though.
need this if um let's have a look so what we got here we got 2009 5000 cobalt 8000 uh silicon 8000 copper 300 and 800 zescozium and restroom 388 pentax uh let's get some pentax refining actually so the small constructor was working on and is still working on um that fine get it working on the pentax next sort this by on type uh on Nibir, thank you for becoming a member dude much appreciated welcome along oh that's a bit different isn't it more than a stack of silicon more than a stack of copper cobalt's good that was down here at 322 that's why i wanted more and there's loads of neo still uh is the large constructor processing that neo no it isn't okay give me that go 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 stay there bingo lovely 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 headlights and the drills are on Not a big fan of Strike builds, but the nail cells work great in Imperion. This is exactly what I was saying earlier, is that I didn't mean to create a Trek build when I started this build, but I knew I wanted nail cells because of how effective it makes thrusters in Imperion. Like having your thrusters that far out on the outer edges of the ship really makes them work properly. Like, you know, their full sort of potential and whatnot. The rest of the ship kind of just sort of happened as a result of that, really. And I was chatting with people and I was, was like, ah, maybe I'll do a saucer section for a joke and then ended up with a saucer section. <laughs> so, yeah. So now what we got to watch him go planet side and collect sticks. That's later, later, later. Wait, hang on. I just heard, heard the sound of a gun firing without ammo. Crap. Yep, we're out of 15 mil. Interrupt that. <clears throat> ammo. Um, shit, really? Oh. Yeah, we need to go planet side and collect sticks, guys. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm having nitrocellulose. Oh, no. Might be some in the fridge. Hang on. Ingredients. 176 plant fiber. Shit, 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 shit the sound my turrets are making right now hang on let me pop the old sentry guns out at least then we'll have something shooting at those give me some gat rounds come on tenacious ammo diggity ammo ammo uh humbug's got a bunch in it actually there we go right can you take out that drone please There we go, they're shooting back now. Revenge of the talent. <laughs> they took all my wood. <laughs> What's your favorite way of getting one G's amounts of Neo? Well, if you can mine space asteroids with something like CV mining lasers, that's the best way. But if you're if you're before that stage in the game and you're mining with an SV or hand drills or something like that, um, then ground deposits. You know, you warp to a planet that has neodymium deposits. Find one, mine one, refine one. But um, if that's not an option, you can get. Neo out of salvage, uh, salvaging thrusters, advanced devices that have flux coils in them. You can use that to um, contribute to blueprints in the factory that need Neo. I like to spawn it in. <laughs> like it's a big fan of the H menu. <laughs> the good old item menu. I know he said tickle my wood, but I swear it sounded like tickle my wood. <laughs> tickle my wood. 
took away when. Yeah, I can hear that, actually. If you say took all quick enough, it sounds like tickle. Tickle my word. <laughs> well, there we go. I can, you know, I could say tickle my word if you want. There you go. If that's what helps you, I'm happy to help. Always happy to be of assistance. Blighted knows this especially. Always giving in my wood. Right. That drone's still alive. My gosh. About 10 minutes until server restarts. To be honest, 10 minutes until I need to end the stream anyway, so it kind of works. Kind of works anyway. We'll be back uh, later on today with the Chaos Crew for some satisfactorying. You want to come and chill and factory with us? There may be some arguments. There usually is. But now I've got the Neo and I've got this Sathium coming through and through as well. Um, if I can go and get some wood. And what's left? Restroom Zacosium needs topping up, really, ideally. Titanium. I didn't actually stop and get titanium, did I? That's a bit low. We should be able to get to two more laser drills on this ship, though. I think that... Uh, it's the management's fault. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. When in doubt, blame the factory manager. Take Spanish privilege. Hey, Yanara. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed. It's a bit of a slow moment in the game, this bit, where you're sort of trying to build up that surplus of resources just so that you can, like, crack on, as it were. This is... I'll remember this place, though, because this is, like, a really nice place to set up a base. It's kind of, like... The only problem is it's kind of far away from everything. It's the star systems. And in, that is kind of in the middle of, I suppose, most of the territories, you could argue. But I'm thinking of setting up like over here somewhere near near Bar, near drone lands, near Polaris and colonists. Because I'm going to be effing these guys up like no end. <laughs> so, <laughs> the other option is setting up in the pirate space in order to like trade and, and be friends with pirates. Because they've got some decent traders. But. Uh, I'd sooner just travel there every now and again and do little trade runs and stuff. Be near the loot. But honestly, it really depends on what kind of planet I find because setting up an asteroid base, like, it sounds great on paper. But, I mean, it's just a space station with a rock attached to it, isn't it? <laughs> There's nothing special unless you like dig into the asteroid and then it's an underground spa a base that doesn't have any of the benefits of an underground base. So it's novel, but I think that novelty will wear off fairly quickly. Right, so there is oh, that's just something. There is. So check the harvest box. One thousand seven hundred fifty-three sapium ore. Even more crushed stone. I'm over a stack of that now. So let's get my constructor working on that now as well. There's a little bit of um, damage near. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just make those two, please, boss. Now we need wood. Barren planet is not a good place to go get wood. But I'll tell you what planet is a good place to get wood. Swamps. Swamp planets are very good for wood. And it's got a restroom on it. So the swampy swamps. Hope you have a great day, Spanish, and everybody else as well. Thank you, General Turian. Appreciate you, dude. Hope you had fun. I'll see you later. 
You can come live near us. We need neighbours out near drone space. <laughs> there you go. Drone space is the place to really set up, I think, you know, because you need to just, oh my God, you need to farm drones so much. Oh, not again. Gas harvester? Didn't somebody say something about buying nitrogen at a gas harvester or something? Where was that? That was there and then it wasn't. Mining facilities. Lots of Polaris here. Oh. Revolution front wreck. There's a UCH ship getting boarded by uh What the hell? Oh, bloody interceptors. They're back again, aren't they? Get them, Gats. Get them with your very limited ammunition pool. You'll be fine? What I need to do is um, turn the humbug into a tree harvester, I think. Welcome out, Roberts. Cheers, buddy. Over a stack of crushed stone. Well, shit, you won the game. <laughs> yeah, just think of the 40 or so copper ore you could make with that. <laughs> oh! Hello! Where, where, where? <laughs> My old nemesis. Oh, we have got a lot of shenanigans going on down in this planet, huh? Colonists are here, black cult. Although I could call them something else that begins with a C and ends with a T. Yeah, those buggers. This, this is an intriguing planet. I may have to stay here for a while and gather lots of wood and salty tears. <laughs> yeah. Harvest outposts, monoliths, defense outposts. Well, yeah. And Xerax are here as well. Okay, well, let's for now stick with the objectives and just get some wood. And then I think uh, I think it's possible that we may have to come back here someday, maybe soon-ish, very soon, and destroy them. Sorry, it was telling me some stuff about swampy planets or something. I wasn't reading. I was too concerned with everything I was seeing. Oh, the sentry guns are kicking in. All right, I've got uh, my chainsaw. It's the best I've got at the moment. I could probably make something like the um, uh, tree harvester. What is it called? Bushwhacker. That's it. Need to unlock a bunch of stuff. Ah, I'm not going to do that. Now. Let's just get some bloody wood in the wood in the bank. A lot of birds come. It's now 1 a.m. here. I'll have to catch up later. Take it easy, Jimmy. I don't know. Crap, there goes our crops. <laughs> While they're painting your thrusters, it hurts. Oh, the um, new ones on the back. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> Is that bad, really? Here's everybody stop. I do hate the chainsaw. Much better with um oh, there we go, bonus logs. Love a bonus log. Stacks of sticks. Yeah, they told you. And just uh, it lands and everything around him starts dying. You know it. Painsaw is awesome versus spiders. Then there's no spiders around here. Huh? 
And this is level 15 reload. Red and blue thrusters. Who do you think you are? Space police? <laughs> well, if you're familiar with Star Trek nacelles, that you know that they have the the I don't know what it is, like the plasma thingy at the front. Um and the rest of the nacelle is kind of blue. Because of the antimatter. So I've got red thrusters at the front. Because it's trekky. Right. So next uh, next episode, I'll get the bushwhacker in, and uh, this will take mere minutes to get thousands of logs. And we probably won't need to go and get wood then for um, several years. That'll be fine. But what I would like to do next episode is have a look at the black cultists here on this planet. And if there's an opportunity to murder some talent, then we'll do that as well. Um, there's also Xeraxian scummy bags here. But yeah, these cultists, and maybe even the colonists could do with a bloody nose, those smug, frickin' colonialist bastards. Come around here, taking planets willy-nilly, and then complaining when pirates turn up. I mean, who do they think they are? I don't know. That's what we're probably going to focus on next episode. And hopefully I'll have that for you around about Tuesday. Uh, Monday will be Enshrouded. I've got a lot of building to show you that I've done on Enshrouded. Um, so hopefully you know, guys will stick around for that as well. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. That's absolutely fine. But, um, you know, it is a very good game. Right, there we go. That should hopefully be 126 logs. One minute to server restart. We'll now be able to make carbon substrate again. Lovely. I'm going to log off the server, but I'll log off it probably in uh, at the sun. Sabe beta or something. That way I can shut the ship down as much as possible and not worry about Tavira sneaking up on it. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I've got to go and go get my little one from nursery. Uh, but hopefully I'll see you guys later for the Chaos Crew stream. Thank you again for being here. And thank you so much for all your amazing generosity today. It's been incredible. It's been really fun streaming with you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully I'll see you later. Otherwise, have a nice weekend as well. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>